New. All right. New in our loafer character for today. Wait, back up real quick. What are my other characters called? Because I got to give it a name. We got uh, Far Out Man, Signal Void Guy, and Target Acquired. What was the most recent patch called? I guess it was the... Wait, is it... Buried Echoes. Well, we're not going to be doing this, though. Not going to be doing that. Target Acquired, Signal Void Guy, Far Out Man. Okay. Uh, new... Interloper. We'll say... Get the cold fusion. Oh, I haven't snared a hundred rabbits? Dang. Consume fewer calories. Sprinting burns fewer calories. These are all don't really make that big a difference, to be honest. Is this the running total? Because the amount to unlock this is less than that. You've traveled 621 miles playing this game. You found a memory that tell you to go into the... Barrage Carter. To find a cache in the room with broken windows, you can't find it. Is that the dam you're talking about? Um, I'm not sure. I think it. It's on the. Um, I kind of know where it is. I think you have to go. Okay, so if you go in from Mystery Lake, where I think it is. That cache is hinted but missing on Interloper. Oh, well then I can't really help. I think that one, though, if you know where the safe is, it's on the other side of the broken window, I think, is how I remember it. I could be wrong, but I think I remember you have to go, like, down the stairs into the big room with the big drums or whatever. You have to go up the, the catwalk around the edge. Uh, that would lead you around to the rope. I think it's on that side of the window. But I'm not 100%. That, that could be totally wrong. Speedrun snaring 100 rabbits. We're speedrunning it right now. It's my uh, it's my first attempt. It's uh, ongoing. Speed reduction for walking into wind. You know what? I thought this would be amazing. But I never really... I don't know if it's really that great. All right. I don't know about amazing. I thought it would be impactful. Didn't even feel impactful. Yeah, but th that's what I would try. I would look on the other side of the window, not the room with the safe. The other side. But Tough Gulf says it's missing, so I'm not sure. Uh, stamina bar. What do I feel like? Sprinting? Maybe sprinting. Why not? Confirm. Okay, we'll say, um... I would say try not to die guy, but I think... I already have a guy character. Try not to die last. Did I... Wait, did I select... Well, I guess we'll find out. The wiki suggests they're missing on purpose. The wiki is not very... It's, it's not amazing. It's not infallible. But maybe. I'm not sure. Or all the memories always the same place. I'm not sure about that either. I don't know. Okay, where are we going to be? Uh, starting... The starting matches are a little bit different now. So hopefully we can find some matches. Where am I? I haven't played in a while either. Audio sounds low. Okay. Did I just see a stick down here? Well, whatever. 
There. Gotta, gotta remember how to play this game. Is this Pleasant Valley, maybe? Do, 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 do. There's a bear. Um, Timberwolf Mountain? Where the heck am I? Oh, my I'm, I'm like brain is... No, it's not Timberwolf Mountain. Where is it? Timberwolf Mountain! Okay, I know where I am. Alright. It's not that. Wait, it's, is it this? No, it's not that. Yes, it is that. This is not a, this is a place, uh, this side of Timberwolf Mountain, I haven't started in in a long time. Is this gonna be casual, or is there a special plan? I do not have a plan. I do have an idea for, like, a... for a run. I don't know if it's gonna be this run. Probably not. So there's a cave... Is that, I think that might be the cave. I'm a little rusty. I think that might be the cave that goes to um, Black Rock, right? Right there. Basically, we just follow this down. Oh, but this is going to be a blizzard now. That's perfect. Uh, you can follow that stream down to the pond and the cabin, which should have matches, I hope. Bad news. Blizzard. I'm moving. Where's the tree swain? Oh, I can't actually harvest that. <clears throat> a knife, a hatchet, or something. Fry bar. Something like that. Zoopy doo, zoopy doo, zoopy doo. Did it say saw? I didn't quite catch it. The whole text. Doopy doo, doopy doo, doopy doo. Careful there. Keep going downhill, basically. Oops. It's about midday. We'll need these. Sticks are love, sticks are life.
Uh, 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 I did, uh, I haven't exactly been going in a straight line, so. There's a bit of airplane. that on the, the backpack. So mostly, if you start there, you sort of just want to walk vaguely downhill. And it will be hard to... I guess it's possible. You could uh, walk right by this lake without seeing it, but it would be hard to do. Without recognizing what you did, or for me anyway, I guess. Depends how much you recognize the landmarks. This is karma for not taking Blizzard Walker. It was a very sudden blizzard. Oh, I'm about to get frostbite. Holy craps. Alright. Huh. Close. Will I come back to play an another game? Was I mean, like, will I play this character after today? I don't know. No idea. Yeah, this is a new run. Just started. Okay, middle of the day. Day one. Boom. Timberwolf Mountain. Level ones, obviously. Zero, 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 zero. Zero. Nice clothing. They fixed the bug where they don't dry out on your character, so that's nice. So that's nice. Am I gonna play all? Yeah, we will play this all stream. Oh, there was a book there. As I was looking for, if you noticed, I stopped, like right before lighting the fire. I looked around to see if there was like accelerant or some way to make the fire starting easier. There was a book in here. Corpse with computer found. That's in the little cave, huh? The, the Chasm Cave. Climber's Note. Okay, oh, and there's a cooking book. Okay, what do I do in this game? How do I play? What do I do? Make water? Probably. Probably a good idea. Hit 
Can I come back to play? I've been waiting. It seems like they're getting close with the next Zomboid patch, and it's going to be a doozy. That kind of game, and g games like Mountain Blade, uh, you don't really, in this game too, um, you don't really get a ton done in just one stream. It takes, I feel like I want to commit to playing them. So I don't want to just like dip like random Project Zomboid stream every now and then, because you just don't, you don't get the full experience. with just like a random stream here and there. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. I need bandages. I only have one. Make some teas, that sounds like a good idea. Have I played the winter survival game? I have not. I know what you're talking about though. I've seen, I think I watched the trailer, maybe. Ah. Silencio. Too close to another object. There's literally nothing else on the ground. Should I take the spray paint? I guess I can. Audio sounds a bit weird. The right volume on my mixer. Um, click, click. Master. The wind was really loud once the blizzard started, but then, like, the little clicky sounds don't seem quite loud enough. Sound, sound, music. I guess there's not a lot of break out there. Tepa, thanks for the step. 36 months. Want a new run? Indeed. Indeed. -y. That's that's better. Ooh, what did I do? Whoops. Whoops. All right. Um, I don't have cloth without ripping up stuff. We found a hat, which is nice. I'm still missing gloves. A little bit of food. The decision at this point is usually go to Pleasant Valley unless I found a hacksaw right here, which I did not. Uh, but I warmed up, so what we can do is... There's no reason to drink 0 0.02 gallons of water. Uh, we can go look in the, that, that thing and grab cattails and crap. More sticks. Grab those sticks on the way back, actually. I don't have rocks. There's a wolf up there. A deer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go to Ashy the Canyon. Oh, gloves. Frozen gloves. 
heavy hammer. Seven days to die. Um, I feel like uh, that's also a kind of game where... Well, at least my runs don't... In that game, my runs don't last long enough. For it, it's not like Project Zomboid where I'm... I, at least, or this game, where I know it a bit better. And I feel confident a character will last several streams. But if I play that again, I would want to be getting better. And I don't know if I'd get very much better just a random stream where I haven't played in months and I don't play again afterwards. Plus that game is... I don't know. It's, it's not my favorite. It's too frenetic. Like the pace. you just, The way that the, the difficulty accelerates and you have to like stay on top of the day-night cycle but do the quests in such a fast fa fashion... Uh, let's see. Stones. Four. Okay, so, um, decision of whether to go to Ashcan. I did get matches. We go to Ash Canyon. That is a thought. You hear the backpack calling. Should we do another poll? You just want to do like Twitch plays the long dark. <clears throat> That's probably not a good idea. But sooner or later the decision is going to be like, jump off this cliff. Don't jump off this cliff. Well, they said jump off the cliff. Ash Canyon can be tough with no hacksaw. Just pass passing by all the saplings. Um, that's true, but getting the technical backpack so easy, and by the time I get it, that'll be like right when I'll be getting. Well, you know what they 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 made it so that you can harvest rabbits without a knife now. That's that's good. Driving gloves. Fashionable. Nice. It would be a good thing to do for, like, a one stream. I I, I may play this character again, but it won't be for a little bit because we're going to play Dragon's Dogma. So it would probably be a good thing to do to get out there, get the backpacks in the first stream. I did find a hammer, so could also go forge. And then go get the backpack. But since we're already here, maybe we'll try. Go to Ashita Canyon. But we have to leave, like... I can't stay here the night. It's too cold. So I have to get to, like, the... Uh, angler's Den. Is there a point in the run where you know you can't die? You can always die, but there's a point in the run where it becomes less likely. Like, you could always just be stupid. That's usually how it works. Um, mm -mm, I'm wearing all that. Good. Got some rabbits. Alright, so I've got... Too many cattail heads, for one thing. Two cedars, two reclaimed, 40 sticks, and a book. Plus one more reclaimed right there. Plus two. Over there. Uh, probably not a good idea stay here the night. It would just take consume way too many supplies. So, I see. I've only got the one can. We'll leave the hammer here. 
Although that would be good for busting up... Maybe I... Oh, wait. Maybe I should take it with me. Okay, decide on that in a minute. I have an hour left to fire. Let's get the meat out of here. 35 minutes. That's got another 15 minutes. What are the hacksaw spawns in Ash Canyon? I have no idea anymore. Okay, so we can do like 30 minutes. Frostbite healed. Cool. And I have um, glove now. We'll dry out here. Separate these guys. Oh, wait, stop. Collaborate and separate. Ooh, icky. Can I make it all the way to that thing? I'd have to leave, like, right now, pretty much. Go over here. Um, I would like to harvest these guys now, but that's maybe, uh, will take too long. Need to start making torches, too. It up to about two and a half hours, 35 minutes. That one's done. Does the glove dry off faster near the heat if you take it off? Um, I'm not, I don't know if it's faster or not. There was a bug for a while where it wouldn't dry out at all unless you put it on the ground. But they fixed that, so it's, it's, I'm, I'm just sitting by the fire anyway, so it should dry out on its own. One minute until melted. Could you explain the hot tea without burning? Yeah. So, what you do... I'm about to make a tea. So, I'll explain it right now. As soon as it's done. Cook. Rose hips. I guess I should drink some water. Okay, that's the last of my... I guess I'll make an old man's beard. So, when you put it near the fire, it'll give you a timer. There's the last of my food. There's done. Oops. Um, okay, so there'll be a timer, 30 minutes till burned. And if you let that just tick down, then it will burn and it'll be unusable, it'll disappear. But if you just reposition it within the fire's warmth, it'll reset the timer to six minutes. And when that goes down, there will be no timer, it won't burn. So you have to place it down within the warmth and then just reposition it. Reposition each one once. And it doesn't hurt to double check you did it right that the that it says hot with no no countdown. Like that. Hot. Mmm. I don't have to get to the angler's... Did I say angler's den? I don't have to get the angler's den. We have to get to the one up on the cliff. We just had a blizzard, so as long as the weather isn't super cloudy, it should be doable. Do I have any caffeine-type things? We don't need the... I'll probably just burn it, though. So, uh, level 1 fire starting. Need all the fire supplies I can get. I 
take a lot of torches. Yeah, especially in the very beginning, they're hugely useful. And I'll... I'll recycle the ones that are pretty low, if I have the time to do it. This is pretty... It's, it's already getting dark. Twenty sticks, two fire. I guess I could harvest more to stay here. Hmm, decisions. Or we might end up in a cave or something. Yeah, why not? Let's go. I'm gonna go. Those are all above 30%. Almost time there, right? And I weigh very little. Do I want the hammer? Uh, no. Useful for getting attacked. It's a lot of weight, though. We're going to be carrying a lot of stuff coming out. I'll get the uh, the upgrade for the backpack, ideally, and the wealth fed, but still. It's better just don't get attacked. How about that? That's a plane. I'm going to go right up this hill so I can look down as soon as possible to see where any bad news is located. Oh, okay. Whoops. Too steep. Never mind. Slope too steep. Is that the deer? That looks like deer prints. Look like it's very hoofy. What is that? Could that be coal? What is that? Coal would be handy. Or is it just a random bit of tree sticking out of it? Yeah, cool. Cool game. Thanks. Thanks for that. It seems... It feels uh, like it would be nice to sprint. Like I can get there faster, but I've got so far to go. It's just going to make me tired faster. So it's a bad idea, I think.
you can fight the bear now? Really? Don't think I'll try to test that. That treatment did nothing but prevent you from freezing to death. Yeah, nothing. Totally did nothing. You can always fight, you can't always win. Was that like a brave braveheart quote? You can always fight, can't always win. Freedom. Slightly moist, not too soaked though. I do really enjoy the starting characters in Ash Canyon. Probably my favorite part place to uh, to spawn in. Here we go. So we don't have I we don't have to get the anglers then. We have to get to this little fishing hut and we have gotta climb up the hill. And uh get to that little cabin. We can sleep there. And I don't really need stamina or energy or whatever to get up there, so it should be alright. Theoretically. A lot of cattails here, too. Somebody was saying I took a lot of torches. Got eight. I think I've used four or five already. It's not that many when you gotta walk a long distance. HRV. HRV is technically probably the best start, but I don't enjoy it as much as Ash Canyon. As far as I'm aware, there's still guaranteed matches in HRV. At least every time I've, ever since they redid the loot stuff, 
I've gotten matches in that cave, in the ravine or the the the, the river, whatever river cave. Down, down, down by the river. And usually you can find a hammer if you know where to look. There's good clothing. And then you can immediately walk downhill and forge in... At uh, Spence Farm, which is really what makes it super OP. Because you can forge so quickly. The other stuff is just kind of a bonus. Allow me to sing for you the ballad. Down, down, down. Down, down. By the river. A ballad in 18 verses. Cats I have. Fifty. Um let's be walking here. Gotta move on. It's hard to pass up cattails. There goes the warmth. There's a little burnt-down cabin thing that might have a little bit of food. T-shirt. All right. Why not? Can't really see. Yeah, I almost went the wrong way. Could only really see the outlines of the trees, and they were a little too close. Too close. Hypothermia is... Not setting in for a little bit. I think I just keep walking, actually. It's going to slow me down a bit to uh, make a... Oh, a lantern. Lovely. A rope. What do I use that rope for? Quite dark now. over here. A little bit farther. Why well, use torches the way I'm using them? Uh, a little bit of <clears throat> a little bit of warmth 
Very small bonus. A little bit of light at the night. That helps. But really, the, the main reason, also to defend against wolves, but the main reason is I only have 11 matches. That's the main reason. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Shouldn't have done it that way. Can I play Planet Coaster? I did play it a little bit. It was alright. A little bit too uh, decoration simulator for me. Ow. Human or mountain goat? Yes. I hear a ptarmigan. Combat pants, 86%. Nice. That's Scared. just prime. Very good. Casimo, thanks for the sub. It's the rope. Pinnacle Beaches, Pinnacle Beaches. And more matches, nice. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see, do I need a fire right now? No. Do I just go to sleep? I'll put the rope out tomorrow. Um, didn't actually get exhausted yet, so that's nice. I do want to harvest the curtains. Okay, see if I can find more curtains. Um, found a lantern. Oh, there's the bed. Cool. Almost zero fuel. Have you ever heard of Vintage Story? It's a game, isn't it? I've heard of the game. I've never heard of mod. Or the game. Do I have any weird things with my setup? Like, do I hold my arm at 90 degrees? Some weird crap like that? Absolutely not. That's disgusting. <clears throat> I 
pants are doing good. Uh, let's see. Wind chill, wind chill. Doesn't really. Whoops. Uh, the order of these doesn't really matter because I have something on top of them. I don't have a can opener. Uh, let's see. I have one can still. Middle of the night. Need some food. Vintage Story was the mod first, then the game. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was... Doesn't it sort of look like uh, Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley, one of those types? Probably eat these too. Okay, uh, okay, and let's see. I have one old man's beard. I'm just going to make one more right now. There's farming and animal raising, but no NPCs or no village. No, like, annoying people that you have to give stupid presents to to keep them satisfied. Ugh. Sounds like a good game. How's my ankle? My character's ankle? It's getting kind of late, so I don't want to spend too much time doing that stuff. Um, sprain my wrist. Otherwise, I'm doing just fine. Okay, let's sleep. All right, let's go put this rope outside, pick up anything useful, murderize a single ptarmigan. Do I want to do that? I did hear them. Maybe I scared them away last night. Okay, uh, we gotta climb a rope, so I need to sleep a little bit, and we need to be under this amount of weight, which I already am, so no big deal. One T left. I don't have that much, 36 cattails. 80 rose hips, 34 sticks. I would drop the sticks if I needed to, but I, I think we're fine.
Oh, you know what? I don't know. Where's the re the recipes, right? I gotta make sure. I think the recipe in this zone is in, uh, like, the foreman's cabin. Make sure I don't miss some little post-it note pasted to the wall. I'll go and eat these just to get rid of weight, I guess, until I'm full. What's the current record of days for survival? Me? My record? It's 500 something. The overall record, I don't know. It's it's a lot. Just depends on how much time people want to sink into the game. See the ledge. All right. I will. Some Game of Thrones nonsense. Yeah, if you want to live a very long time, it would get very repetitive. It would involve a lot of fishing, I think. Stockpiling a lot of food. Just passing time, I guess. See, we're going all the way up to that cabin. I probably shouldn't be picking up sticks. It's just going to slow me down. Um, I won't need a ton of fire there either. Yeah, it's probably a bad idea. As much as I love sticks. Is there a hole in the environment? Or is the tree just at a funny angle? The tree is at a funny angle. Best part of the game is first 50 days. It definitely has the most power spikes, for sure. It's most dynamic. It sort of levels off after that point. But I enjoy the sort of infrastructure part of it after that. Setting up bases and having supplies in various places and becoming sustainable, getting all the hides you need, all that kind of stuff. But I think a lot of people really enjoy the power spikes. Like, I just picked up those uh, combat pants. It was a huge deal. Sometimes there's a snow shelter there. Not today.
I have two. This will get me to four. Probably get about five. Ish. Yeah, it's definitely better now than it used to be with the uh, far territory stuff. It's much more difficult and the, the different tales and finding the bunkers and mapping and setting up uh, stashes and all that kind of stuff. Cloth? Uh, people say that, but I don't think that's really a problem. Unless you get super late into the game. It used to be a problem when the game was much smaller, but the game is... There's so many zones now. I have never run short on cloth. As long as you have... Once you get the hunting knife, you... Like, if you, even if you run out of curtains and whatever, you just find those uh, mattresses and pillows and stuff. You get so much cloth that way. so far. It's crazy. So many saplings, though. Single player, yeah. Yep. Pick up the reclaimed wood. If I had that hammer, it, you could break this stuff, which is actually pretty nice. Get a lot of fire supplies real fast. Makachi. Oh, the key. I gotta remember to pick that up. Get some fish. Although, I don't know if... Are we gonna go get that... the fish? I don't know if we will. At least not right now. Trail boots. log. Need a can opener. Another pair of combat pants. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Twelve cloth. I need to warm up a little bit. Probably drop the books. Uh, let's see, water supplies, not great. Let's make some stuff. Go sleep in the cabin up step. I guess I don't need that much warmth, I'm just going to walk up there. That's probably good enough. Just wanted to stop the bleeding.
that area not warm anymore? It was only slightly warmer. It used to be really warm in there. Like you could almost sleep. You could sleep in there without a fire a lot of times. It's like they nerfed it. All right, let's drop. Um, I don't have any accelerant. I'm carrying a lot of firewood though. I'm gonna drop those two and some of the sticks. Cause I've got all this firewood. And I'm gonna drop the fur too. Cause it's kind of heavy. Where you at? Go. Termigans. I don't have a bedroll, do I? I just realized. <laughs> kind of useful, those things. Okay, can make water better now. Got a frying pan, other shoes. I guess there's gonna be a lot of stuff. I'll just pick it up, look at it all later. Newspaper. Recipe here. Maybe it's an angler's done. Windbreaker. Okay. There was a whetstone I missed, maybe. It's a little bit dark. I will uh, scan with the lantern after I do the first sweep. Stack of papers. Them. Stick them in a stove. All right. Uh, so I got a bird. I should make some water. I don't have much. Plenty of firewood. So let's get cozy. I guess I'll take a little bit of charcoal. I don't plan to do any mapping, but if I run by, a, if I happen by a, uh, a vista, whatever. Why not?
Where's the recipe? I'm not sh I don't know where the recipe- like, I don't have the recipe locations memorized or anything. Oh, what am I doing starting a fire with the match? What a dork. You thought it was in this cabin? It might be. I'll look again. It's either here, or it might be in uh, the Angler's Den. I don't have the look. I, I know where a few of them are. I think there's one in the lighthouse, for instance, in Desolation Point. But uh, mostly I just have to look for them because I don't know where they actually are. Let's put that in there. That deer, and this frying pan is still not on the radial for some reason. Put down again. It is in the cabin, this cabin, I don't see it. Always, yeah, I should take my own advice, always. Just realize there's two, there's like identical, more or less, fire sources right across from each other. Why have the wood-burning stove... And a fireplace. Like, the whole point of a wood-burning stove is way more efficient. If you're going to have a wood-burning stove, you would never have a fireplace. I would think. Need to write an angry email. Oh, I didn't actually start water in this one. Yeah, you could cook on both, I guess. In Within the game, but like in real life, you would never... You would be very unlikely to cook on this type of fireplace. I'm not going to say never, because then somebody's going to chime in. Well, actually, I do that, and I did it yesterday. Okay, fine. Fireplace captures the, like, warms the stone. A wood-burning stove is much more efficient for, for firewood. Because of the ventilation problem, the air being drafted out of the fireplace. In a wood-burning stove, um, the heat is mostly radiating from the metal. But not ra it's not like creating such a strong draft. I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, it's definitely cozy to have a fireplace. It just seems weird to have the two right next to each other. I'm gonna have to look at the recipe see if there's something I can make with what I found. Uh, 40 minutes for that. I have a piece of I'm thirsty. Uh-oh. That's not quite enough meat to make broth. I need 2.2, which is 1 kilogram. I've got just under that. So, probably just cook the meat and eat it. Uh, we might have another chance. We're not really going to run into wolves. I got to get past the bear. Maybe I'll just carry the raw meat in case I can make some broth at the gold mine. Because I think there will be ptarmigans there. And there won't be any wolves between here and there. I need broth for all this stuff. I don't have a pot anyway. Acorn grounds. Pancakes. 
I don't have cooking oil. You know cooking oil. Oh, I could make peach pies. No cooking oil, right? Okay, do I want more cloth? I have 12. No, I don't think I get more cloth. I'm not gonna break anything. I might uh, do some food crafting stuff, that's it. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah, cook this stuff, cook the potato. Acorn bannock, acorn pannock, bannock. No cooking oil. And I need a pot to make the... Wait, oh, don't I need a pot to make broth anyway? I don't even have one. Yeah, alright. So, we can always find more birds. Give me a feather. Your parents' home had a fireplace and stove even closer than that. I knew there'd be somebody. <laughs> well, actually... <laughs> actually, streamer. Guaranteed. Do, 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 do. All right, make more water, I guess. Um, let's finish up the food type stuff. I guess I can put my can back on the fire. I'll be making teas in that one after I get caught up with some crafting. 30 minutes of chup chup. minutes, six minutes. Oh yeah, I picked up uh, shoes. And these shoes are a bit heavier, but a bit better protection, not as waterproof. It's only 5% waterproof. Um, doesn't really make a huge difference. I do like the waterproof value. If these were better prepared, uh, repaired, I would probably pick these, but these are just a little bit more warm, so I'll take them. Not a big difference either way. Sixteen minutes until boiled. Alright, make some tea. Yeah, well, I expect you would cook on a stove like that. I don't know what you would use the. Maybe if you want to, if you want to roast the marshmallows, that's what you use the fireplace for, obviously. Uh, oh, well, they fixed. Um, they fixed the tea fixing. Tea fixing doesn't work anymore. Eight minutes. All right, that's a good amount of water, but I can always I can always leave water behind. No reason to keep a piece of equipment idle when I'm doing other stuff already. We'll find better stuff. So I don't think these are worth repairing. Eventually, we'll only have one pair of combat pants. We may, may even find an extra pair. Probably not worth worth the time repairing anything right now. Uh, I could cook the potatoes and eat them. I think we'll just hold on to them for now.
take that one and harvest it by the bed before going to bed. Did I not pick up... Oh, I'm one... Okay, I'm one old man's beard shy of the fifth bandage. I still have some. I like the uh, the way that the driving gloves look on the hands now that they're displayed. Especially when you're like aiming a rock or something. Oh yeah. Aiming. Nice. I was looking at the table. I need a hatch to break down my torch. What the heck? Squish, 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 squish. If you throw the torch on the ground, will the cabin catch fire? Yep. And then you learn that uh, all the snow is like partially frozen rubbing alcohol and you just ignite all of Canada instantly. You get a you get an achievement too, it pops up. I got a few extra books, which we we'll use to start fires. Don't really need to carry on too many, though. These are for... Oh, you know what? Uh, what do I need to make that insulated what's-it thing? One more feather. Okay. I was getting those for the bedroll, which I don't have. But then I remembered there's another thing I can do with them. All right, sleepy time. <clears throat> I 
Two days, 20 more minutes. A little bit overweight. Blah, 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 blah. All right. I'm underweight. Um, will I be making a fire super soon? I don't think so. Oh, blizzard though. Let's see what the weather says. Survey says. Blizzard. This actually is good. Very good. That means no bail. Hopefully. Run down to the other cabin and warm up. Make sure I snagged everything from here I want. Still see the daylight, it's weird. I'll double check for uh I think it must be an angler's den. But I'll double check for the recipe real quick. It would be like at eye level, I think, if it was in here. But I don't think it's in here. Survey says. Since there's a blizzard, could warm up some teas. Although I, I guess I should have done it. When I could have done it inside, huh? Too windy. I don't think so. I didn't warm up very much, did I? Guess my clothing not that good. Uh, all right. We try again. I need more fire for this not to run out. Normally, like, spending an hour inside would be massive overkill, but since my clothing is still not great...
Did I go the wrong way? A little bit too far to the... Oh, I see. Okay. I know what it did. What happened? He tightened the bump. Bzip, 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 bzip. Zoop, 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 zoop. That ain't the mine, yeah. Yep. Sure am. That treatment did nothing. Little fire spot. I don't think we need it though.
pretty good progress. Two T's, that's all you need. Sips, I guess. Gotta be real careful here not to accidentally climb back down. They moved the stem, right? It used to be here, but then they moved it to that little outdoor, the fire barrel shed thing. But I didn't get it there either, so I guess it's random. Still no bedroll, so can't really do anything here besides make a fire. Piece of coal. I don't have a hacksaw or a bedroll. There is a small chance we get a hacksaw at the actual summit. I'd have to be able to make a snow shelter though, which takes 15 cloth. I think I only have like 12. So we I wasn't really thinking about that back in the cabin. I could have grabbed more. Have I seen the Gentleman series? Uh, I have not. I don't even know what it's about or who's in it or what. 15 sticks? Oh, 15 sticks, 5 cloth. Oh, then, yeah, you, you, that's right. It's the other way around. Then we're fine. But uh, if, we, if we find a hacksaw in the mine, which is unlikely, but if we did, or if I, we find it before popping out into uh, Timberwolf Mountain, then we'll definitely go to Summit. But if not, I don't know. It's kind of a coin flip. back here rope rock or something rope rock oh yeah this is the super climb yeah i've never done this version climb all the way up three times i never come back here anymore i kind of i forgot that was there old bed roll and run of the cabins uh that one you can't use that's like a um it's like a rolled up mattress for a bed the only thing you can do with that is cut it up for cloth if you have if you have enough cloth. I guess you could get up there, almost looks like. It would be nice if there's a at least uh, set up the ptarmigans down here and get an extra feather. Oh. 
So many saplings. It's ridiculous. No, I spawned in uh, Timberwolf Mountain on, like, the western side over by the the transition cave to Black Rock. Ptarmigan sighted. Well, not really, actually. Just sonically acquired. Where did the, uh... It's like a little shed. Did this change? No, oh, this thing. I walked right by it. There's nothing. Okay, um, so before we go into here too far, I want to go get a Boyd. Clothing's not really good enough to just warm up doing random crap. What time is it? It's getting dark. Uh, Alright, let's try to do this now while I still have some daylight. We can sleep away the whatever condition loss occurs. Almost said acquired. Target acquired. Mm, but yeah, I need to fix the sprain.
I don't think I have any normal feathers, do I? There's one. It's not a feather. There we are. Could really use a can opener.
More matches, nice. Cramp ons, cramp off. With the backpack. And we're at uh, sometime tomorrow. We'll get the well fed. That'll be nice. Nope, a peach. Cuckoo. Start fire. Uh, uh, mm, I think I have a book, right? Yeah, sure. Conflame. I'm gonna level up my gunsmithing. Um, I'm not. That's the neat thing. You don't. Cooking. I still don't have a. Don't have a uh, what, what's it called? Uh. Words. Cooking oil. I don't have cooking oil. To get a bird. Do I cook the potatoes? I'm down to 15 cattails. Maybe I'll just cook the potatoes. Forty-eight minutes. Pot. Is that the word I was looking for? Maybe. Eleven coal, nice. Yeah, no broth either. No more Puzzle Master. I did most of the stuff in the game. Besides the randomized, like the very randomized stuff. So, like, the last thing to do there would be to chase... And, and I couldn't uh, get into the other parts of the pyramid either. Unless I chase down... Like, nine or ten more mysteries. Simple base layer made from down feathers. The uh, the developers that made 
the Da Vinci game, the Da Vinci room, or Da Vinci House of Da Vinci, whatever it's called. They're making a follow-up game called, or I don't know if it's a direct sequel or not, but they're making a new puzzle game called The House of Tesla. Seems cool. I don't know. I have no idea when that might come out. But it's a ting. Ooh, icky. Hot. Oh, yeah. Vitamin C. I forgot all about that. Scurvy. Got a lot of rose hips and not much else. I already have five. How much water do I have? Pretty good amount. Oh, that's done? Okay. That was all of the... Alright. I mean, maybe I'll make a little bit more water. Or not water, uh, teas after that water's done. There's the bird. Dunskies. here. Not quite to level two. Four to one minute, so boil dry. Okay. Um I guess I'll wait till daylight to make the the improvised insulation thing. Don't get eaten by a bear. I shall endeavor not to. So we got to go downhill and then down the snowy path, whatever, the side of the zone, into the transition cave. I don't need a ton of torches right now because we can make a fire outside the cave or inside the cave and then make more there. Carrying a decent amount, 18, uh, 82. Although we're about to get another upgrade. As soon as the the well fed kicks in here, use the bandage. Why not? Oh no, those are, that's the wrong menu. I have four. That'll do pig.
No food poisoning, nice. Probably drop some water. So we gotta we gotta climb down a rope. Uh, I guess I can put the crampons on already. I don't have any other accessory. You survived. There it is, well fed. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Feels like. Toasty. Warmth bonus. A whopping 16 degrees. Not very good. Uh, oh well. Uh, cool. Now all of a sudden I'm underweight and I don't actually have to drop the water. Speedy. All right, so we're done with the Ash Canyon, at least for now. I don't think I'm going to go to the fish, even though I have the key or whatever for the angler's den. It's just fish in that stupid little container. I would, I'd probably get a, like an extra pair of matches or whatever. But I think we're just going to head out of here. I did not get... I don't have a bedroll, which is manageable, but I did not get a hacksaw. There is a chance to get a hacksaw at the summit, so we could try to go to the summit of Timberwolf. we get a hacksaw, then we can open the stuff, which would be nice because we would fill out some clothing, get a few animal hides, get some medicine, stuff like that. Um, get a fire striker would be great. Extra match is great. And it, I don't think it's really going to be that big a deal if we get up there and it's not there. It's not like I, I would be wasting a ton of time. I would need to preserve cloth. As long as I hold on to the cloth. If we find any extra clothing, I'll rip it up. You're scared? You should be scared. There's a deer. The moose here. It's always fun. Still underweight. Little container. Ah, Polaroid. Boom. Where is that? That's 
up on the little uh, shelf with the cabin or whatever. Well, I guess next time we're there, if ever. Oh, you know what they fixed? Check this out. Check this out. Watch. Boom. Normal, normal size birch bark. Kind of sad. I kind of miss it. Can't make jokes about the silly, like all the wacky things we're gonna do with the birch bark. Like we're gonna make some, uh, like a house. We're gonna sled down the mountain with it. End of an era. Feels bad. What were they thinking? It's a possibility to push that deer into a wolf, which would be nice to have the extra food. I think I'll just keep on moving. I've got all that canned food <clears throat> just sitting in my inventory. If we go to the summit... Oh, maybe I can find a can opener up there, even if I can't open the containers. That would be nice. I'm gonna run out of cattails, so I'm gonna have to smash them open. If I don't find a can opener. Just wait till they break it again. I wonder if it maybe broke something else. Maybe there's some microscopic birch bark elsewhere. That's usually what happens when they fix one thing. Well, it's fixed now, and then something else goes horribly wrong. Yeah, normal size birch bark. What the heck? This is not Ash Canyon birch bark. They've replaced it. This is an imposter. Who are you? What have you done with my Ash Canyon birch bark? Explain yourself. Range birch bark.
I'll bark no bite. Mm, 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 mm. Anything here? There is a, a spot where you can bat. Yeah, you backtrack to get up to get more birch bark. Maybe I'll do that. Hypothermia is not an immediate concern. We're gonna be in a cave soon. There's no wolves here. Several hours till it gets dark anyway. So why not? I won't be able to sleep. Oh no! Wait, I, yeah, I can sleep in that cave. That cave has um, feathers, doesn't it? Might be a good time to sleep, since I don't have a bedroll. I'll need to... I know, we will need to make a snow shelter beneath the rope to get up to the summit. One way or the other. Mm -hmm, zero birch bar, cool. Nice. A lot of birch barks and sticks, but not really found any food. There's a backpack. Just a stick. Ninety nine point nine nine. Cool. Sixty seven sticks. Now I have sixty eight. I don't know if it's worth it coming up here. I think I found like three extra birch bark. That's it. I, d I typically don't do this. And I think this is why. It's kind of a waste of time. Are we walking to the far lands? We are in the far lands. I guess this game's far lands. No, we're not walking to the far lands, nor are we in them. Dark lands, yeah, there we go. Should be able to drop down here. What's it look like? Uh maybe not. Yeah, turn around. You might be able to do it, but I can't really see. It's not even really a shortcut. So I'll just walk back the way I came. You missed the start. Is this a new mat? Nope. Uh, I started a new character. Spawned in Timberwolf Mountain. Went to the cabin on the lake, and then went to Ash Canyon. We're in Ash Canyon now. Went to the gold mine, got the crampons and technical backpack. Now we're basically walking our way out of the zone. Slowly. Is 
seem to remember there being feathers in this cave. If there's not, I need to make a snow shelter. I guess if I'm going to go... The weather right now is great for sleeping because it's foggy. But if I have to be outside... Uh, let's see, that's... Uh, I want to go this way. try to walk all the way. Well, we, gotta, we have to go up two ropes. And I'm about exhausted anyway. So I guess we'd, I'd, I'd have to make two snow shelters one way or the other. Closer to the cave, I guess, the better. For the first one. down here. I'll just wait. I'm going this way anyway. There's an open world survival craft dune game coming. Is it like officially licensed? Dune game? Or is it like, finger quotes, Dune? Is it called like, Desert Planet or something? It's called Dune Awakening. It's a survival game? You're trying to survive on a rack, so... You would just like, Join the Fremen or die, right? Or they kill you. The end. Something like that. And it's an MMO. Survival crafting. Okay. I should eat some food. Thermia is creeping up. Uh-oh. Front row. thing. I figured it was called the foot something. Giant's pillar, giant's foot rest. Did the name pop up? No? Moving slow. I think I'll make a snow shelter. I'm going to make a fire on this side of the cave. Because I'm not sure if there's a feathers in there. I'm going to make a snow shelter. I can always break it down if the weather goes bad. I think you get everything back except for a stick or something. So who cares? Just got to do it quickly. Soon. I don't know if I can walk far enough before the hypothermia hits.
Shouldn't have gone on that little excursion. Slow me. There it is. Pillar's footrest. Slow me down too much. Going after three extra pieces of birch bark. Waste of time. Oh, well, okay. I guess I gotta make it right now. Accelerant. Just do this. Yeah. Is low for yes. Did I ever play Banished? I played it, I streamed it one time. I think this was before I started streaming stuff, so it uh, there's no record of it. I streamed it one time and I played it, there's like six hours, something like that. I thought it was interesting, but I never went back to it for whatever reason. Okay. Okay. Time to craft. Sure. Cozy. Oh, so cozy. Um, alright, so just sleep a little bit. Don't want to push my luck too much. Uh, I would like to recover health, though, so I will try to search the cave for feathers. That would be nice, so I could sleep ten hours safely. Sun's getting real low, big guy. Okay, the fog is lifting. Let's just do... Can I hit the fire? Yeah. 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 All of a sudden, I'm Keanu Reeves. Whoa. Sit. Um, dismantle. Plop. Pick up. 83, that'll do. What's my torch situation? Yeah, okay, that'll do for the cave itself. Seek, seek, blessed. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm back up to 48 tor uh, sticks. 48 sticks. Probably find a few cattails here. Some like bioluminescence going on or something. Looks like it's lit up. It's like a, there's a little side area in this one, and I think there's also a loop, maybe. Yeah, I think I wanted to go the other way to get that stuff. I see food. I wasn't sure which way to go to get to it. There is food over there, though. We finished the pyramid. Uh, we didn't finish the pyramid, but I discovered, aka was told because it's extremely obtuse how it works. But uh, there's a there's a way to get into the upper and lower pyramid, but it requires me to have finished 15 mysteries, and I was only at like five or six. I would have to like grind out another nine, which seemed kind of tedious. Uh, okay, to get, I need to go. Up here. Betty Dock. It's long and it's dark. Lord Seru, thanks for this up. Can't over. No. Pork and beans. Cup of coffee. Thanks, but no thanks. I mean, thanks, but could have been better. Am I going to need the sticks? Probably not. Okay, so now where? 
sort of forgot which way I was going. I think, am I backtrack? I think I'm backtracking now. Because, um, typically I would try to hug one wall, and I ended up going a different direction. Let's go this way. Hopefully I'm not backtracking. I see coal on the ground. It's a good sign. Have I been here? I don't know. No feathers, though. Wait, was it, were there feathers by that dead person? There was a campfire, right? I don't know if there was feathers. I think my brain stopped working momentarily. I came in here to look for feathers. Feather bed. You feel lost? I'm in a cave. See, you know where I am. Oh, okay. So did I go the right way? Yes. No, I did not. We're back in Ash Canyon. Crap! <laughs> Stupid cave. I'm not lost. I did that on purpose. Should have left the marker on the floor or something when I went down the side path to go to the uh, whatever's. Okay. Uh, that's, that's a little cubby. Dead end. The cave doesn't know where it is, yeah. Maybe the cave is shape-shifting. It's morphing. Alright, and then... I gotta go this way. Because my instinct was that if I wanted to go to this little extra area, I go to the right, but it's actually go to the left. That's back there. Yeah, okay, now we're going the right way. I think the... I think I'm like my brain is... The memories are overlapping. The cave I'm thinking of with the feathers I was thinking I could find was the one in... Um, Forlorn muskeg to bleak inlet. I don't know if this one has feathers. I think now we're in the loop. Or that back there was just a side tunnel that dead ends. the end. Okay, no feather bed. So I guess uh, I need to make a snow shelter. It takes 45 minutes. Four. Oh, did I lose the cloth? I do not. I need to rip up, like, a scarf or something. I do not have enough. And it's an aurora. Okay, there's a cave over here to the right. Let's check that one for a feather bed. The deer clearing.
Okay. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and make a fire here. Even though I can't sleep right here. So we can stop and think about options. Don't want accelerant. I want the book. Can there be bears in caves? Sometimes, if it's a, a cave a bear sleeps in. There's one cave in uh, Timberwolf Mountain, actually. The zone we're in right now. It's very dangerous to sleep in because a bear paths right by it. Generally, it's okay if... It, as long as it's not... If it doesn't have bones in it, it generally it's fine. But there is one. It's very dangerous. Very dangerous. Dorothy Gale. Uh, yeah, I need... What is this? Oh, ice fishing hole. Five cloth. I guess I would rip up my hat, not the scarf. Unless the scarf, for some reason, gave me multiple cloths. The vest gives me two. Probably do the hat first, though. It's not very good. It's, it's pr providing almost nothing. It takes 45 minutes to make to make a shelter. Park. And I need to climb a rope, so we've got to drop some stuff. First to go, extra cans. Any sticks can get dropped. Can't build snow shelters indoors. That would be ridiculous. All right. Well, we're warm for the moment. Let's chop up some of the birch bark. Birch bark. Oh, I guess I can make this thing too. Don't really want to walk over to where up to the rope in the middle of a rutrora. Coal. Anyway. 
usually the caves that the yeah if, if it's the cave that the bear sleeps in they can follow you into one if they are following you but uh, most caves as long as there's no bones it's okay with a few exceptions like the one i mentioned Guess I won't drink anything because I'll have a tea. A tea. I'm gonna wait to make birch bark tea because we gotta climb a rope. Easier to spot the the furry fellows. I wonder if right there is a good spot because of the to put the fire in the hollow. I'd rather it be closer to the rope though. There is a little spot for a fire, although I don't know if I can still make a fire in there. When I used to make a fire it was before they changed the some of the rules with fire making. It might be too steep. I don't know if there's room for a snow shelter. Just past this tree. game is a fixed map yes yeah so i know where i am i know where i'm going the the stuff we'll find around is a little bit random but the actual map is not okay so i would walk up this way there's a little cubby right right around the corner there 
I think I'm going to go up here, though. Um, there's a chance we can run into a wolf here, up here, much less so. So it's probably better to just get up as close to the rope as possible. If we, if there's like a blizzard or something, it's bad, super bad news. I probably just have to bail from this whole plan and uh, descend back down to the uh, cabin or whatever because I don't have a bedroll. Is that bark stripped? What? Not a moose spot, is it? I don't think so. It looks a bit stripped. Maybe it's just snow. No, it's just snow. Funny light. Let's see if I still have a warm tea. Am I summoning? Yes. Did I find a hacksaw? No. I don't have a hacksaw or a bedroll, so we're just rolling the dice. Hoping I find one up there. Every time you go. It used to be about 50%. I don't know what it is now. Is walking during the night dangerous? It's dangerous right now because of the aurora, which makes the wolves much more aggressive. So if a wolf sees me, I won't be able to scare him away with my torch. That makes it more dangerous. Otherwise, it's... I mean, it's colder. It's darker. I know where I am, though, so the darkness doesn't matter that much. We're gonna go right here. Make a fire. And, um, cross the fingers. There's the rope. I don't have enough energy to climb the rope, so we have to sleep. So I need a... Snow shelter. Oh, come on, invalid. Don't give me invalid crap. Come on. Come on. Come on. Invalid, my buttski. Way down here. Ugh. Okay, water's fine. I'll probably end up dropping water anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and drop some teas, though. Oh, and uh, might need that coffee. So we gotta climb up this rope, which is not a very tall rope. Right on the right at the top, there's a cave. We gotta go through the cave. And then we're gonna make another snow shelter to sleep all the way to full to climb another another rope. That rope is much taller, but uh, there's a better place to make a snow shelter there that's more protected from the weather. Come on, game. Don't, don't be like this. I did not check beforehand. Too close, my buttskies. Come on. Invalid. What's invalid about it? I 
I did see it go green. What's going on? Come on. I said they changed fire making. Uh, yeah, that like the you, you used to be able to put a fire like right here, but now it's too steep of a slope. Too steep for a snow shelter or something. It's not letting me do it. I gotta be like way down here. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, there it turned. Come on. That's too far. And now it's... I don't know what the issue is. It was green, and then it changed back to red again. I'm too far from the fire, for sure. They rarely want to face the flame. You think that's it? Let's make sure... That fire's not going to run out. Mm. Come on. Yeah, I'll take it. Just turn green. There. Okay, so... Let me see. I think that's too far away, though. Good enough for now, I guess. I have to eat some of this canned food. Okay, it's got uh, five hours. survived another night. Well, maybe that'll have to do. Try sleeping one hour. If it gets knocked out, I may still be warm enough in here without it. don't even need it actually 
Uh, the tea we don't really need to be warm. I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna let it go out. But I think we uh, rested enough, so I'm just gonna let this... I'm gonna break it down. We only get two cloth back. I wonder if uh, some skills make this better. Only two cloth. Oh, that's, that's rough. R-U-F. I have to <laughs> rip up a lot of stuff. This doesn't work out, I guess. Who cares, right? In the long run, it won't matter, but it's going to feel bad. It's going to feel bad. Real bad. going to have to rip up my socks and my vest. And that'll do it. That'll get me back to five. Okay, that leads you up to the other ex exit, but there's a little, there's a loop here. I want, just in case, I want to double check. Looks pretty empty, though. Board socks are useless. Yeah, true. And if there is a hacksaw up there, we will replace any clothing we lost along the way. M more than likely. Didn't find much. It's 
Some firewood, I guess. Whoop. I think I, pr I probably... I'm just gonna look at what I have, but I should probably try to make a snow shelter and no fire. So we'll have to uh, stop here. I need to eat some more of this canned food. Not much coal. Somebody's been here before me. They took everything. There's the exit. Okay, so first thing I gotta eat. And then we need five cloth, so I'll have to rip up some clothing. Food poisoning would be real bad. <laughs> really bad. Forgot. To, I didn't forget, I just didn't do it. Oh, you know what? You know what I'm not accounting for is that we have cramp on, so climbing the rope will be a little bit better. It's still probably best to sleep to full if I can. Okay, so I need five cloth. Get rid of the socks, I guess. Or maybe the t-shirt. T-shirt's doing... They're doing about the same. But the t-shirt's... Uh, Underneath other layers. I'm not sure if I have socks on. If I have shoes but no socks. If I if there's a... How the frost... Like, do I get frostbite on my exposed ankles or something? I don't know. Okay, two more. Goodbye vest. It's too bad because it's... A decent uh, piece of clothing at the moment, but it's going to give me two. Is food poisoning worse than scurvy? I've never had scurvy. I don't know what the side effects are exactly. While I'm in here, chop the mushroom. It'll drop a little bit of weight. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. Can smashed open. Hmm. Should I kill the rabbit? I'm a low on food. Probably should. Ptarmigans, I'm gonna pass on the ptarmigans. They don't get very much meat, and it's too slow to get the feathers, and I don't want to carry the weight up the mountain. But I will, uh, I guess if I want to take advantage of the deer, I would have to 
with all the sucker because I don't have a hacksaw. But here's the good spot, which is fairly protected. So a rope. Oops. Okay, let me confirm that it... Yeah, come on. What the, what the heck, game? Invalid. Why? Says who? Too close to another... I almost never make these things. They're kind of annoying. This is gonna be over here. Okay. Probably better to make it first. Try it out. And it's definitely warm enough. I'm gonna make a fire anyway though, because I wanna eat the wabbit. the sleep gets cut short. Oh my god. Come on, game. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Whatever. I don't need that stuff warm. Screw you. Screw you. Give me that rabbit mate. Stupid. Oh, I guess I want that in my inventory. Mm -mm -mm. Cook. Twenty three minutes. there, I guess. I guess what, I'll just leave the deer meat here. It's tempting, but it's... I'd have to make a fire right at the corpse to thaw it, and I'd rather just sleep and get up the rope. Maybe I should kill one of those birds, actually, since I'm sitting here waiting for this to cook. Be a little bit extra calories. Probably worth it. Oh my god. I was robbed. Robbed! Okay, nine minutes. Insulated vest? You mean the, uh... This? Improvised insulation? There's no vest you can make, is there? I 
think that might last me until I get up to the top of the mountain. Although maybe, I, maybe I'll go ahead and just eat this. Once more with the drop and stuff. This, I don't know what's going on. Why can't something about this, this area is wacky? Um, is that close enough for one? I think so. Ninety-nine. Do I want to use fire supplies? I've got two. You know what? I'll use these. Yeah, let's use these up. Before I climb the rope. Give me at least four hours. Almost. Almost there. 22 minutes. Uh, Alright, let's use the last firewood. And then we might be able to sleep without the fire. We, maybe we could have slept without the fire the whole night, but it's a little bit of a extra dice roll. <clears throat> I didn't rip up my vest. What? I did. It's not here. It was here. That's probably good enough. I'm gonna say good enough. And we're underweight. Break this sucker down. Give me my two cloth. Sucker. My nine sticks, thank you very much. Right and perfect. Perfect. I was gonna take a torch, not now. Good timing.
slightly dark. Yeah, I can pick up sticks. Drop so much weight. We'll need it at the top. Where's my rope? Can't see. There it is. One stick. Wow. Two sticks. Nice. Yeah, it's much easier with the crampons. I think my brain was calculating how hard it would be based on what it was like before crampons existed. So, I'm not sure exactly how little sleep you can get by with and still be able to make it up, but probably best uh, not to experiment right there. Like cold. Well, there's no feather bed. Guess I'll snag that. Okay, let's get over to the airplane. Just keep the lantern out, I guess. Past a body. Hey, oh. Day six, the summit, and a hacksaw. Ba -ba -da -ba. 100%. Did we just hope it was here? Yes. It was a total roll of the dice. Complete roll of the dice. Yeah, definitely worth it. 
it would it would feel bad if we got up here and there was no hacksaw, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, what I need now is to not be hungry. This guy. Um, 18, 18, 20. Yikes. Okay, give me some food. But that, those are clothings. That's not food. I don't remember which one is food, but I should be able to open enough before my stomach empties completely. Clothing. Nice. Will I get a flare gun? I doubt it. Because they hate they hate people now. They hate the uh, their their player base. They want you to be miserable. Never having flare guns again. Moose kicks. Alright, that'll do for now. Pretty good. Ah. All of a sudden, stuff. Wow. You shoot a wolf with a flare gun, can it catch fire? It will. Uh, I won't literally catch fire, but it'll kill it. It will be incandescent. I got a bunch of sodas. Nice. Still no can opener, but I think I might one of those over there, maybe? I'll find... Ooh. Ooh. one has furs. Alright, no can opener unless it's just laying out in the open. Maple syrup. Seventy four per cent fire striker. All right. Why was there pelts in the crate? Uh, because video game, that's why. All right, um, there's a few other things to do, but let's sort through the clothing, I guess. I got a toque. Well, that's a big upgrade. So I started, I have 14 de degrees, and if you're wondering the Celsius equivalent, just like divide by two, basically. It's like seven Celsius. 
total warmth bonus of all my clothing at the moment. I got ear wraps, which are now obsolete. Uh, uh, uh. The windbreaker provides three point. Oh, no, that's wind chill. Yeah, all right. Oh, I have a vest too. Point five. I'm going to repair this too. Okay. Uh, no more windbreaker then. These are worse for the moment. Some climbing boots. 72%. I guess I could do this, but I'd... We're going to be going down the mountain, so I, we went up to 20%. We'll go up more once I repair a few things. The, uh... The gloves. We'll add an extra one or two temperatures. That's enough water. I don't have a lot of spare cloth at the moment, though, so we can't really do it now. Man, the weather. No good. I can't make a snow shelter in here either. Um, in this box, it would take me a full hour to break it. You get... Um, I already picked up the accelerant. What's in that? Is it the matches? I did not get matches yet. It might be the matches. Do the uh, let's drop down. That's got a few hours on it. Guess I don't weigh that much. I sprint. Yeah. Oh, they're here. It's just hard to see. Two boxes of matches. Backpack. Couldn't even see that. Bonus crampons, of course. I don't. I don't really like what they did with the crampons. I think they should have made remained a unique item you have to go find in one spot. I don't like you can make them. And I don't like you can find them in multiple places. They don't feel as special anymore. Now they're just sort of baseline... baseline gear. Just make them. I think they're not quite as good if you make them, but still. Is this like the guts of a cargo plane? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay, well, I have two cloth, right? Yep, two cloth. I don't think I'm going to break that box. I don't remember what's in it. Maybe it's food. The crackers. Or is it something I don't really need? Is it Maybe it's accelerant? I forget what's in there. What would I repair? Probably not the scar. The gloves, I guess. 30 minutes. Yeah, straight up to one hundo. It's probably worth it. 0. 0.6 to... Did I only get 0. 0.9? I remember them being better. Maybe I'm thinking about the rabbit ones. These aren't even fully repaired. Man, these things are pretty good. Same weight. Same armor. 
Almost the same temperature. More, more fashion points, too. We're about to, we're gonna go down the mountain, so I'm not gonna switch the ear wraps on. I'm not going down in this weather though. I guess we'll uh I'll go check the Corpses. A few corpses I didn't check. This over here. If I wanted to break these down, it takes too long, right? Hour and a half. Just leave them here. Future me can worry about that. These all take, because it only takes 20 minutes to break down those gloves. Um, I guess I could eat this. Oh, I guess I've got the sodas. Yeah. I'm gonna wait till right before bed. Before I have the, the super dangerous stuff. Probably need to be over here. There it is. And back here there's not much but like uh, rose hips, mushrooms, sticks. Already lost pretty decent amount of health and I can't really sleep right now. So, let's go back to the plane. I should make the coffee. Got ten. I guess we'll start chugging it. Oh yes. Trom. Level two cooking. 
D6. Leather shoes. Crampons. How, wait, cramp. Cramp. No, Krampus, that's a different thing. Crampons. Found a hacksaw. Yeah, there was a hacksaw here. Maybe we uh, fill up the thermos. with coffee. Well, it's five or seven or something like that. I guess that wouldn't make sense. You can warm up the thermos by the fire. It would take too long, even though it did work that way. Flask is empty. Gotta wait for the blizzard to end. Bungity, 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 bungity. Is there a character command? Characters on day six. How much happened yet? Thirty minutes still burnt. Okay, uh, let's see. I have one piece of cloth. I don't think anything else really needs repaired. The, oh, maybe the socks. But that takes forty-five minutes. I guess we could start chugging the. Get a little head start on the coffee. For to get a little warmer out, walk down the hill. Yeah, a hill. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a hill. That's what it is. Uh, thoughts. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, uh, that looks a little bit more weather appropriate. Not perfect, but it's getting there. Better than before.
There's a cold one? What the heck? Unacceptable. Warm it. It's full anyway. Cool. Okay, I'm currently a little bit heavy, but not too bad with uh, to, um, I guess we'll wait for that to be warm. I'm not sure how long that lasts, like an hour or something. It's not really, maybe it'll be good because we're still in the very early game. Will I be drinking a lot of teas? Maybe we'll find some good use for it. Oh, I could have broken this. 20 minutes. cloth. Alright. Take that. Drink that. I'm out of here. Um, 39 sticks, some reclaimed wood, a little bit of coal, we just want to cover ground, really. overall target down there. Uh, 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 but first we're gonna make a we're gonna stop off another cave. Oh I should uh, before we go any farther refresh this and drink my coffee. It's not there. It's not there. Try this at home. Um, wait a second. Wait just a second. I may have made an error. <laughs> Rut row. of snow looks the softest do you think look right here oh 
Okay, st stop leaping down the mountain now. That was worse than it had to be. Not bad. Uh, two sprained wrists. Old man Mingiz, thanks for the sub. All right, there's some cattails there, which I would like to snag. There's a rabbit, too. A flare. Nice. Bandage one of my wrists so I can throw a rock. I guess we'll let's go and bandage both. There's the other side. We are going to another container, which uh, has a good chance to give a thin wool sweater, which is bis. If you know that, if you're uh, if you're a gamer, speaking your language there. Although I guess now it's got it has a little bit of competition. It used to be pretty much the only thing you would look for, but now I suppose the uh what is it? Is it the hockey jersey or whatever that's roughly equivalent?
Boom. Just like that. Boom, like that. Thin wool sweater. Nice, nice. Second pair of wool socks. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Wonder if we should walk up to the uh, three wave cave thing. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let us remain. Let us remain in Timberwolf Mountain a little longer. Am I skipping the? Br oh, it's already been four hours. Ah. Oh. It's easy to it's easy for time to pass in this game. Lose track of time. We will do a break uh after I get back to Either the, the the hut or um, the the prepper's cache, one or the other. Basically, end, end of this game day, more or less. Cave discovered. So this used to be a 100% guaranteed matches spawn right here. I don't know if it still is. Who knows? Ah, pry bar is pretty good. All right. We'll need that coming up. Extra skill book. Chips. It's like no matches, but ah, firewood's all right. 100% torch, pretty good. Worth coming up here. My matches. That's all right. I've already got. I've got like four or five boxes. It's, it's enough to last me for a hundred days or so. Well, maybe in the early game, not a hundred days. But after a hundred days, no longer early game. Do you prefer playing the Long Dark during summer or winter? I almost always play it a lot more during the winter. This year is a little bit maybe an exception because they've been releasing updates fairly regularly. But yeah, it's usually a winter game. Do have a hacksaw, so there is the option of like sawing up some meat. Ten minutes. Okay, stop that. Thank you. I'm not sure how long the torch lasts, like 30 minutes or something? Is that all? Oh, that was all of it. That seemed like all of it, was it? Maybe it was, whatever. But, uh, how much did I get? Oh. Oh. I did not mean to saw that much off of there. Okay. 
I was oh, you know what? Why is because I wasn't looking at the left. I was looking at the right. The timer. That's why I got confused. That's a good amount of meat. Meat. What do you want in your sandwich, Kowalski? We have a hammer waiting for us, too, at the the hut, which is nice. I do need to get some saplings. It would be nice to already have had some saplings going, but... Don't always have everything right away. Pick up this stuff. I think I'll try to make a fire outside, as long as the weather's not too bad. up the meat, kill a rabbit, grab some cattails, walk downhill. Profit. Dead, dead, dead. It would really be nice to s save the syrup for pancakes. I will try not to eat that. And we, we can turn the uh, peaches as well into stuff. I think the quality will be impacted but I still get bonus calories out of it so I have to look at the recipes see if I'm missing oil or if I need the pot or what what I'm not sure see if I can make a fire right up here it's too steep oh it's not nice Sizzle. Oh, it's already warm. Nice. So I don't need to use my coal. Dump some sticks on there. And we can't sleep. Where's my coffee? Someone took my coffee! Did my thermos. You coffee thief. Probably should have moved all of them. Just have to walk downhill. Yeah, let's put them back. Simpler. I need to drop stuff anyway. Or maybe I'll put these in here, actually. That UI is kind of funny. Doing weird stuff. Okay, let's drop this. I'm gonna put that off to the side because I need to make water or something. Uh 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I got a shirt, gloves, shoes. All kinds of crap now. Just trying to get the weight to a manageable level. That's better. Okay, uh, 40 minutes, 30 minutes. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, there's a wolf right over there. That's annoying. Cattails. I think maybe we'll just skip them and murderize the rabbits, which will attract the wolf. This is uh, this should make throwing harder because I'm using a mitten. Should penalize you. Game's not mean enough as it is. Take that, rabbit. That's what you get. Wolf was smelling me already. See him turn towards me, and he turned away as soon as I dropped the rabbit. Squeaks! Yeah, now he's coming back. Gotta get up here by the fire. Sun's getting real low, big guy. All right. Why do you hold the saw like that? Is it more precise? It's kind of weird. Like like a parry knife? Yeah, I guess so. If you have a big knife, little pro tip. It, it's a little weird at first, but it, you get used to it pretty quick. Um, if you if you only have a big knife, then you need to do something more precise, like cut into something small, like an apple or whatever. Or s slice a strawberry, something more finicky. You can sort of use the, the fat part of the blade of a chef's knife. You can hold it by that part and just like only have the, the little, basically shorten the blade, the amount of blades left. Do things a little more precisely. I do that a lot. I don't even, I, most of the time I just do that. I don't even grab a small knife for random things. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll just wait on the rabbit stuff. Whatevs. Rabbit, rabbit uh, things cure quickly, so it's not really worth it to take the time to harvest it here and carry it all the way down the mountain just to. have it a few days later. Need that to cook. And let's pick this stuff up, figure out if I need to drop things if I'm too heavy. Yeah, like I said, yeah, sand toker, yeah. Maybe I can rip up the shirt or something while that meat cooks. 101. Not too bad. Twenty minutes. Wow, 
What are the books good for? Uh, starting fires gives you a bonus chance to start the fire. Or these ones that I'm carrying around will give you, if you read five hours of them, they give you skill bonuses. So this is showing that right now I'm about halfway through level one fire starting. And by finishing this book, it'll jump me all the way to level two. This more gray part is what it'll add. Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, I think I pretty much used all yeah, I used all my torches. I'm at 106. This is going to drop almost... I'll drop these shoes. Should have done this before walking away from the fire. I don't need this anymore because I have old man's beard. It's an extra pound. I guess I need some of that meat. That would reduce weight a, a little bit too. Like Zomboid? Kind of. It doesn't give you a multiplier. It just gives you... But you have to you have to spend like... The time to read it. Kind of similar. It takes us, You have to get all the way through. But when you're done, you just get the... You get it in a chunk all at once. But uh, it's it's more limited, though, because getting all the way through, like, level 5, it's only going to provide a tiny amount. Where if you have the right book in Project Zomboid, you'll have the multiplier all the way, what, like, up to level 10 or whatever. So much for that torch. Okay, going to have some bad visibility. So, uh, blizzard means no wolves, which is nice, but also harder to see. So I guess since there's going to be no wolves, I need to try to get down to the river. Just follow it down. Down, down, down. Down by the river, you might say. Mm-hmm. It's really hard to see. <laughs> Try not to fall off a cliff. Can you have a torch? No. The the wind blew it out. I could use a flare if I really needed to. That ice looks like ice. I wonder if my clothing is good enough to sleep in this cabin now. If it is, we will just sleep there. If not, depends, I guess. How much wood I brought with me.
Crystal Lake. More cattails. Don't mind if I do. There's the dock, I think. Okay, am I warm enough? No. Shush. Well, isn't this pleasant? All right, so let's see. It's uh, nighttime. I have got fur. Yeah, I guess we'll sleep here the night then. All right. It's not ideal, but. Not the worst thing ever. Is my fire starting leveled up yet? No. Oh well. Where's my tea? Might rip those up now.
Gonna take that. And we'll end up dropping some things. Probably rip up some of that stuff for cloth. I mean, I'm carrying a lot of skill books. We can read some of them once we're in proper indoor areas. Those are all set up, right? Zip, 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 zip. All right, rip. Rip and tear. The socks. That's the rest of the quote you never hear. This, this feels bad, but the correct thing to do. Feels wrong somehow. I guess I could, what, repair the scarf? That's probably going to get re replaced soon. I'm going to rip this up. 69% driving gloves. Oh, oh yeah, we're about to sleep. Do I roll the dice now? I do want to get health back. Oh, no, I'm going to eat this meat, though. Or I could have eaten... I could have had that when I woke up. I, I don't have a can opener, either. I've got a lot of low percent crap. No, I think we'll... We'll wait... We'll wait. Or I could just leave it here for when I have, you know, cooking five way later. I suppose. But then it won't be nearly as impactful. Kind of need it now. Maybe I'll, um, make torches now. Ooh, that's good. Very good. Very good. Not so good. No good. Alright, that's probably enough. Boop, boop. All right, I'll keep those. Five percent peach. That's almost ruined. Then I won't. Will it even? That'll be like one hundred percent bad news. I try to eat it then. I do need to get my health back though, and I need to I need to drink an herbal tea before bed. Thirty minutes to repair, but we're just gonna replace it, so there's no reason. All right, so let's buff this up. I'm gonna sleep ten hours. Drink the herbal tea. It's on the ground. Is the forge next? Uh, it's the next, like, major thing. Yeah. How I get to it, which one I use, I haven't really thought about it yet. Want to get out of Timberwolf Mountain? We'll think about it. Nice. Nice, nice. Four hours left. Maybe I'll read. Do some reading. 
Uh, I have 11 cattails. And I don't want to eat this syrup. Let's have this. Well, I'm thirsty. Okay, and I weigh 93. That's not so bad. Probably drop water. I was reading. I started one of these. I think. That one. Um, we are almost five hours into the stream. Didn't intend to go that long without a break, but, uh, you know, long dark gonna long dark. Especially, like, in the first few hours of starting a character, there's always, like, I gotta do this right now. I gotta do this right now. But let's do, let's do a uh, stand up and stretch break. And then when we come back, we'll, um... Well, we'll go to Pleasant Valley. I don't know what I'll do besides that. Make our way towards one of the forges, I guess, because I have a hammer. Alright, I'm going to get on my chair and stretch. Get a snag, that kind of thing. I'll be back in a few minutes. That transition no. to the fire. Mm. Wait. Thank God that thing was there. It's slowed down. Oh! Seriously? Are you serious? Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, I did it. Farewell, planet. It was fun, but I'm off to other adventures, other places. There are other worlds than these, and cars, a wheel, etc., etc. Oh yeah, rock music. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Let's do it. Hit that button. Launch in ten. Engage. Nine, eight. Oh. Seven. Six, hey, bugs. You're five, gonna. You don't want to be there. Two. You might want to move. One. Time capsule jettisoned. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're still lower than my base. Uh you better go higher than that. Yeah, space elevator theory confirmed. Caution. Approaching orbital debris. But field. We're, we're not that high. My space elevator's right that we haven't actually moved. This is a lie. Debris field clear. This is a damn lie. We haven't even moved. Performing gravity turn maneuver. You don't wait that long to do a gravity turn. Hey, wait a second. Hey, wait a second. I can still see my base. This is a Confirm simulation. Destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. This is a this is an illusion. We're being fooled. Engaging. I am. All right, I want to wake up from this dream. I want to wake one. up. Matrix. We're in the Matrix. Morpheus, save me. Oh, now it's gone. Here we are back again. It's amazing how fast you can get through this base when the game is running at the proper speed. Let's see. Can we launch 10 rockets yet? Here we are. Back. At yes, we can. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, let's park our car in our custom-made garage. We took our hauling car. I knew that. Oops. Oh, it's going to be harder to avoid stuff with the cars moving faster. I know that because that was the, uh, the H1 was empty. Ten more rockets. And then we'll see you in a few days for our... Oh. Crap. Okay, nine more. <laughs> nine more rockets. 159. Damn, I should have paid closer attention. I was too excited. Oh, they launched so quickly. Oh my gosh, it happened so fast. 
Look how fast they go. Huh. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, somebody help me out. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help. Help. I tried to automate it. It's not going to happen. So we have to sit around basically and wait for them to use up their remaining rocket fuel. They're a third of the way there. It's going to take forever. It's probably not going to happen. But I did finally start crafting it. And whammo blammo, another update. Look at the progress. I completely, and I mean completely, overhauled the visual look of the exterior of the brace, of the base, brace, of the base, to bring it into line with the look of the interior of the base, this new style. We've got the colored pathways and uh, the a lot of bricks in the background and these little fun lakes. I did the same thing out here. There's been a lot of visual styles for this base over the years. Has it been? Well, it has been over a year, I guess, because it was two full series, and I did Sea Block in between. We did have at one point we had a lot of uh, note block stuff with the the gates getting triggered by the trains running over them, and the lights flashing, and the rainbow bridges, and all that kind of stuff. I would love to bring that back, but I'm worried it will just impact the performance too much. We are at 17 to 18 frames per second, and I think that's pretty good right now. We've launched 3,500 rockets. We're working on worker robot speed six. These robots are going crazy. Every time I fix one tiny little bottleneck, I realize there's another new bottleneck. And the most latest, the most recent one was actually stone, which I've apparently fixed now because this chest is totally full. Stone was the problem because we weren't making our bricks fast enough, which was slowing down furnaces, which was slowing down the purple science as other things sped up. And now you can see actually all my stone trains are gone. And whammo, blammo, just like that, another stone outpost. Actually, maybe I didn't need to do that. I did redistribute the train, so they're going more evenly to uh, each different stone outpost. But while I was away, they sort of caught up, so maybe we just had to wait for all these different chests to fill up. But we fixed the problem. Now we'll go back to the base. We'll see what the next set of problems is. Okay, anyway, I could keep making small little modifications to this base probably forever and continue to improve it little bit by little bit. Let's do one last final walkthrough of the base in a box recursion, which became recursion, recursion. At the end, we've got three coal outposts, 12 copper outposts. We got 18 iron outposts, four oil outposts, four stone outposts, two uranium, two water. We got Praise the Sun up above our backup nuclear power, and then we have all the drop-off stuff on the island. Oh my gosh, look at the robots go. We are about halfway through Worker Robot Speed 16, which takes a million science of everything. We've shot off 3,700 rockets. Here's the island. It's awesome. I love seeing it full of trains coming in and out and everything working Pretty much at full speed. Here's the overall view of all of the uh, the network of outposts. From all the way out, there's the uh, there's the power system. No more pollution, hooray! No more aliens. We've got outposts all over the place. We've got trains coming and going. Final tally of the trains. Blah 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 blah. I'm not gonna count them. There's there's a lot. Okay, those are all the trains. Let's go inside. Let's go inside to the base. Okay, so coming inside, we've got oil and we've got our uranium up top. Let's go take a look at what our final power draw is. Final power consumption, 24 gigawatts. Our trains still haven't spent all of their remaining uh, rocket fuel, so they're not actually using the nuclear fuel yet. This guy is running 210 nuclear reactors, this building right here. Kovarex really does do a lot. I've reconfigured this building a few times, and now it never gets jammed. It it never gets jammed up. It used to jam up the original configuration, but I made it better. We fixed it. It's now flawless and totally automated. I never have to come back in here, except to check just to make sure that uh, we haven't run out of ore or anything. But so far, we haven't exceeded capacity. Every single, every single one of these buildings uh, supplies a little bit less than two gigawatts. Ideally, they would supply a little bit over two gigawatts, uh, but practice is not always as uh, we don't always get as much as we theoretically think 
we are going to get. Here's our light oil and uh, lubricant stuff. Cracking heavy into light. All of our oil refining are in these guys. We've got 12 different refining buildings. All of our smelting is in this building. Look at that go crazy. I guess we can go take a look at this real very briefly. We'll do our patented squeak under. Bam. Okay, good. Yes, get inside. And it'll take, uh, they'll occasionally pull from these ones. Yeah, there we go. Here's our final production. We finally got up to uh, almost anyway, 400,000 iron ore per minute being consumed. We're consuming 650,000 copper cables. All told, we've consumed over a billion copper cable. I'm assuming G is a billion because M is a million. And those are about, this is about double that. And this is, well, anyway, that's a lot of robots flying around. We are smelting all kinds of stuff. Let's do our patented squeak gunner technology. All right. Plop that back. Let's head into the next level. Deeper and deeper we go. So uh, copper smelting is kind of similar. I actually had, if you can look at the, the green circuits there, I had to buff it up just a little bit to get us up to where we need to be. So now we are making 227,000 green circuits per minute. All the copper is getting added in there. Iron gets teleported in there. Stuff gets added into this guy. Let's go one level deeper. In here, we have a lot of the more complicated stuff. We got the, uh, the rocket fuel, the low-density structures, the plastic, the green, or the red circuits, blue circuits and speed modules, and uh, rocket control units, yellow science. The Actually, the sulfuric acid periodically breaks for whatever reason. Like, one of the inserters just stops working. I have to just flat out go replace it. I don't know why. Some kind of bug having to do with uh, unbarreling and uh, I, I'm not sure exactly why. Occasionally this will drop from 100,000 to about 80,000. I've only got five machines making sulfuric acid because it's such a fast thing. We only need the five machines. Occasionally it breaks so I just try to keep an eye on that figure. And batteries is in there as well. We'll go one floor deeper. In here, we got all this kind of like uh, byproducts that are needed for science. I've added extra extra uh, stone uh, stone bricks being produced right there. We weren't making quite enough, so I just increased it by a little bit just to get us up to snuff. In here, we've got a few science guys. We've got the engines. We've got the electric engines. The I did have to reconfigure a little bit. Because we weren't, again, we weren't just, we were producing just a, not quite enough. So I added a few more machines making the the mining drills. And I just reconfigured the belts a little bit so that we were making, being able to take as, uh, as many out of there as we were making. So there is that little addition. Deeper and deeper we go. Actually, we've got to go up one level and then down one level. Did I add anything? I think I... No, we didn't add any more um, iron furnace creation, but I did add the brick creation, which I already showed. And then here we've got uh, purple is where all of those furnaces are going. You can see from here, stuff's getting added in. This is our rocket production area, and looks like... Um, what are we waiting on? Or is, it, or is something backed up? Anyway... Uh, the average we've been averaging is 5,000 science per minute. We got blue, purple, yellow, whatever, whatever, whatever. 5,000 per minute getting produced. For whatever reason, we're not pre creating um, space. What's going on with our rocket silos? Okay. We are missing... Oh, blue circuits. You know why? Because I just... Uh, something happened. I had to add a few more robots to a few layers and a lot of our blue circuits i think are getting shunted off into production of more robots and more speed modules i also took a bunch of speed modules we are creating 8.4 thousand though that's the basically as much as we can make those they're just getting some of them are getting sent into here to replace our speed modules and actually i can put these back let me just snag some just in case so that kind of will shut down now, and these guys need to catch up because I did use quite a few of these. A thousand, we can change this to a lower number. We don't need that many because the base basically is at full capacity. There's five hundo. 
Okay, this is more like it. The base caught up with the production of speed modules and the robots that I took out of it to speed up little bits here and there and to add extra outposts. Now we got the rockets going again. Everything is gonna even out. But I think that makes this the end of the video and also the end of the entire series. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll actually make it into orbit, but let's try. I've gone with kind of a honeycomb shape. I, I'm missing a number of parts I'd like to have, particularly the, the fuel lines. So I can't do the most efficient staging that I would like to do. So I kind of have to do this thing where the outer tanks, the outer rockets have smaller tanks, and we just uh, eject them as we can. So one of the things I've learned mostly from your comments is that uh, I need to keep my velocity down to about 200 meters per second while I'm in the thick part of the atmosphere. Otherwise, we're just fighting against the atmosphere and wasting a lot of fuel. So let's do that. Let's keep it nice and steady there. Just right at around 200. Uh, also, thank you for correcting me on what ascending and descending nodes really mean. I try to uh, learn the game from playing the game, and I, I'm trying to avoid going to... Okay, uh, we're not quite out of the thick part of the atmosphere. I, I try to avoid going to wikis and watching too many tutorials because I feel like if I do that, um, then it might make my solutions to the problems I encounter less creative or less interesting because I, I just may end up doing what someone else has done See, where is the 90 degree mark? It's gonna be over, we sort of rotated. But we should be able to speed up now. It's, it's right over here. We can start our gravity turn. We rotated a little bit rising, but that's fine. I can adjust on the fly. And we're about to lose our first set of tanks with this particular, yeah, okay. I'm actually gonna throttle down while those fall off. And then I'm gonna slowly throttle back up just so they don't cr crash into my other tanks and destroy my whole rocket all right we are going like gangbusters i think we need to stay basically right at around 45 degrees and see i'm not sure if we'll actually make it into orbit we'll try if i do everything just right there's 80, that's far enough. Okay, let's stop there, and then let's, that's all the way up to 90, that's fine. Let's see if we can actually get this guy into orbit. I kinda doubt it, but we can try. Let's make a maneuver here. Uh, let's see, get that up to, doesn't have to be perfect. Whoops, no, not another maneuver. Let's do this, 84, 105, if these numbers were available without mousing over while you're making maneuvers, that would be so, so useful. 181, that's good enough, I don't care. And let's start rotating, we've got a minute and a half. Another thing you told me in the comments was to start my burn halfway to the estimated uh, timer here. So that window should be your halfway mark and to start your burn halfway to it. So we will do that. In fact, I may actually start even a little bit early because we're about to lose a lot of fuel tanks. I'm gonna have to slow down my throttle in order to eject them safely. Let's speed up and that kind of halts my rotation as well. So we'll get down to about here. Okay, and see if I can rotate just a little. And we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna start early because I'm gonna lose some of this power. And that helps me, when I'm throttling, that helps me stay right on target there. Okay, let's go. Okay. So I'll throttle down and then throttle up a little bit until those are gone. And then we'll throttle all the way up. There we go. And we're not even to our node yet. So that's that's all right. Hey, it's Zisto. Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. If you missed last episode, we built this thing. And if you need a recap, here's a recap. Bing it a bang it a bing it a bang boop. You just knocked the trees down? What the hell? They're in the way. I'm a sky lynx. Whew. Okay. Okay. And that cold wiped out my meat stores though. Firehawk, calm down. 
Uh, there should be more on this. Firehawk. <laughs> I don't know about this. I'm flying, but I'm this not This guy flying. is ridiculous. Welcome back. Seth Bling here. And today, I've made the long dark in Minecraft. Ha 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 ha. It's pretty simple. I just made a data pack and it's free for you to download. Ha 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 ha. What you do is you put it in the folder and then it runs the code for you. <clears throat> okay, what, what am I doing? The heck am I doing? Day seven. We gotta get the hell out of here. That's what we're doing. <clears throat> let me let me reload some information in my brain. Uh, okay, so we got some heated teas right there. The thermos thing. I guess I can put them in the thermos. Probably won't. It's, it's kind of cumbersome because you got to pull it out of the thermos to drink from it, right? Can I drink from the thermos? It's kind of weird. Then you just get the your mug back. Uh, what about torches? Torches are probably fine. All right. I guess I'll put a few in here. These ones. The hot ones. Tea. Rose hips. Hot. Man, I'm basically I'm taking all this crap. So, nothing else to decide. Oh, nice twitch. Just put cattails in there. We're about to go pick up some more, so I'm actually going to put more of these in here. We're going to pick up some cat... Oh, the... This is going to get knocked out in it. In it. Seems likely. Not yet, though. Well, there it goes. How many days is day seven? Spawned um, up there, off in that direction in Timberwolf Mountain. Went to Ash Canyon, got the backpack, came back, or went to the summit. Now we're on our way out. Can you use the thermos for more than one? No, you can only have one type. Because even though you kind of like, you're putting the cups in and you pull the cups out, it's sort of, the idea is that you're just pouring one thing into it, not mixing liquids. It's got to be just one liquid. Speaking of liquids. That's some warmth. Give me some warmth. Should have already had that. Finish it now.
Mission for today, um, well, we <clears throat> we got the backpack, crampons, went to the summit. I have a hammer, so we'll head for a forge. Um, do I want to go? I typically would go to Forlorn Muskeg just to do something different. I might go to Desolation Point this time. I do not have a bedroll yet. But we have the hacksaw and the hammer, so that'll be good enough, I guess. Try to snag some saplings going through Pleasant Valley. Yep, so Wednesday uh, we will do some character creation in Dragon's Dogma. I played the first one only a little bit. <clears throat> I did watch the like the gameplay trailer, so I have an idea of like the different classes, but I don't have really much of a preconceived idea of what I'll be doing in the game. Or what my character will look like, although I do have one thought that might happen, it might not. Will the character creation be able to fill a whole stream? More like, will I be able to finish the character creation in one stream? Just hitting the name randomizer, that's going to take at least three hours. Longest character creation was two hours. Was that the uh, Baldur's Gate one? I think I think I did spend actually about an hour hitting random in Project Zomboid just for the name. No, I guess it randomized everything, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I did about an hour. And then immediately died. that sprained my wrist let me check let's check this first thing go in there was sapling direction to take in the game? Well, I just don't know enough about the game to even know what the direction would be. Um, well, I guess it depends on how extensive the character creator is. We'll see. I 
I don't know if it makes you pick a starting spot or anything like that. Hey, how about that? Then we'll sweat our number two. Yeah. Straight up hacking? Am I sure it's interloper? Skull right there with the crow on it. Boom. Just a little just a little game knowledge, that's all. Time of day is it? It's kind of late in the day. I don't want to stay here too long. If we can get like uh, to the farmhouse or something like that. Actually, don't do that yet. I was thinking, man, I could like read my book or something, but I'd rather get to the farmhouse first. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. Wish the game had a multiplayer. Like you're playing the wrong game. This like the whole, yeah, like like was written in chat. The whole point of the game is to be alone. And to die. If you want a good survival game with multiplayer, I guess there's Zomboids, as long as you don't A lot of people like to uh make Zomboid too easy by adding mods that add all kinds of guns and stuff. I guess that's what you want to do, that's fine. But kind of makes it less of an actual survival game. Still no can opener, but we'll probably get a can opener in the farmhouse. And then I might be able, because I've maintained my, my health a bit. This is still hot. All right, transfer me one. Thank you. So weird. I've got to go through all this stuff to do that instead of sipping from the thermos. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait. No, this does pain, not... Yeah. It doesn't actually cure the sprain itself. It didn't warm me up much, though. Daisy. Is day is day Z like I wasn't under the impression it was much of a survival game. <clears throat> like do you starve if you don't find food? Or do you just have to worry about people sniping you because they sit in bushes all day? That's the impression I have of day Z, is it? You spend hours walking around, never seeing anyone, and then you just get sniped randomly. I do not have a bedroll now. I think I might have, like, if I had ever tried Daisy, I might have gotten really addicted to it, but I never, I never really tried it. Never really got hooked. There's a deer. But no bear. Since they uh, redid 
the item spawns. I found bed rolls there kind of frequently. Not today. The cave over there by the camp uh, picnic spot, whatever, used to be a potential spot. I don't know if it still is. I'm not going to go over there right now, though. But damn again. Social engineer people sitting around a fire. The one game I wish I had gotten into, well, I guess there's multiple games. I wish I had tried, like, in, in the... When they were fresh and active. I wish I had uh, pl played Sea of Thieves when it first came out. sort of missed the boat on that one. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Still fairly lively. Didn't they didn't they make it so people can opt out of PvP? That kind of kills the game for me. If, it, if you can opt out of PvP, then the only PV people I'll run into in PvP are people that are super try-hard, sweaty, sweaty like uh, gamer lords, you know? I want to ruin somebody's day who's just trying to, like, take some treasure back to the island or whatever. I don't, I don't want to fight some sweat lord that's got a thousand hours in the game. At least not at first. Worthless. See, there's a skill book over here. Oh, a toque. Fool of a toque. That's why I didn't repair my scarf. Some games are just, like, if you miss a certain window, it's just not the same, even though they still exist. Like, I wish I had played Ultima Online back when it first came out, and technically it still exists, but, like, there's less exploration to do, because everything has been done. Everybody knows what's possible within the game. It's not quite the same. I never played... What was it? Star Wars Galaxies? The, the first Star Wars MMO? Wish I'd played that. Never did. More wool socks. Did you cook up something amazing or is it the rum? Could be both. on. See, is my, there's no way my tea is still warm, right? This. Did it just make them all hot? Oh, hack! Did I just hack the game? I've entered, oh no, it's not. Shoot. Maybe it was just about to turn cold. It's, it's almost empty. It says it's hot. Oh. 
Not anymore. Hot or not. Dot com. Another toque. Baked pasta with chicken, cream cheese, buffalo sauce. Okay, that seems like the rum speaking. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's good. But it sounds like you just combined a bunch of carbs and sugars. Why can't I run? Too heavy? More fleeces. Uh, yeah, I need to drop some things. I did pick up some of this clothing, but I don't really need it. Because we're going to have a lot of cloth soon. Just leave it on the ground. What else is so heavy? Cattails. That's about to be a blizzard. I picked up six saplings. I've got 30 sticks. I can drop some of the sticks. That's better. Simple park, uh, 80% uh, drop. Eighty-eight percent out. Ninety-three in. Now I'm up to twenty-five degrees. Pretty good. Oh, some maples. Good. So I got some birch and maples. Pretty good. I just don't have any guts. Really hungry too. There's a deer. All right. Give me that. Give me that. Do I have accelerant? I do. Slicey slice. Kind of cumbersome. It's a lot of, it's a lot of clicking to get stuff out of there, drink it, put warm stuff in. Maybe I should have sawed that and walked to the cave. Let me pick up these feathers. Um, yeah. Is 
This is not going to work, but why not? Try it out. No! Oh, there's feathers here. Um... 32. Stuck here then. Carry capacity. Oh, it was almost six nine six nine. Dang. So look for sticks. See you later, Matson. I might uh, stay here just long enough for the storm to pass and then walk. Punk releasing in the summer. There's a missed opportunity. Why, why wouldn't they re release it in the winter? <clears throat> Do people play Dragon's Dogma? Is it like exclusively with controller or does it not matter? Is it like Dark Souls where it's just better with controller? 20 minutes. Well, we're going to be here at least a few hours. Clothing's looking better. Going to need to repair one of these. I choose you, combat pants. Alright, I guess we may as well sleep now. Did not check my water. Probably should have had a little sip sip. A little sip. A little sip sip. Still 
storming. already halfway through the night. Um, I guess we gotta, can't really eat this food yet. I just eat cat tails. Dev recommends playing with controller. All right. Oops. Oh, you actually put that back down until we leave. Pick up the cured stuff. percent they're gonna they're gonna ruin no i wonder if i can still maybe we find oil we can make like a peach pie or something even if they're ruined i just haven't had an opportunity where i'm safe to sleep for 10 hours Do, 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 do. Alright, sleep for one hour, then we torch. Torch it. Torch it. Thirty-two. I guess I... I didn't really know I'd be staying here the whole night. I could have just built up the fire and slept ten hours. Oh well. Too late now. Too late. I am not thirsty enough. All right, let's get out of here. Super Pleasant Valley. Alright, I think we'll go to Desolation Point. Uh, we're going to go to the camp house, or uh, farmhouse first. I typically go Forlorn Musk Egg to Forge, but just to do something differently, we'll do Desolation Point. I still want to go to the farmhouse, though, and probably to Signal Hill. So I'd have to figure out where, maybe like I, maybe we go to Thompson's Crossing and drop up, drop off all my saplings, that kind of stuff. So we'll go to the farmhouse, then the barn, 
then Thompson's, then we'll backtrack with less uh, weight burden, so I'll move faster. Rose hips. Get the cattails over by the moose pond thing, whatever it's called. One problem with going over through uh, to Desolation Point is really easy to run out of food. <clears throat> Depending on how long you spend there making uh, arrowheads. much for that. Whoa. Come on, man. I need these cattails. Oh, woo -woo. Two extra cattails I could add. Dang it. Turn around, turn around. He gave up.
Maybe I just go from here to Signal Hill and then over. That, that's more straightforward. Less backtracking. Some meat right there. Might snag that. Tools, cool. Bow ready. Kind of hard to see. Kind of dark. I think there's there's like a bin with carrots and potatoes around here somewhere. Off the forge. Yeah, but it's it's like I I got a lot of stops along the way. Making our way there. Barely see anything. Didn't even see these lockers. Whetstone. Nice. nice, nice. No matches. What the heck, game? I guess we'll take these guys up to the... Oh, here it is. To the uh, Signal Hill. I don't really plan to worry about the, uh, the bunker thing. Anytime soon. But they don't weigh much. We'll just drop them off when I get up there. Potato. There was leather on the bench, was there? that kind of stumbled
Usually you can find a can opener here. Maybe it's in the kitchen. Look at this. Glorious, blessed toilet water. Forgot that was even a thing. We've been in the backwoods, the back country for so long. Mmm, feels good. I feel I feel healthier already. Like my immune system has just been boosted. I already have two coats though, so I guess it's no big deal. Sometimes you find a coat on the bed or up here. Not today. I guess I well we have most of the stuff before crafting things. I got both thin wool sweaters, I got combat pants, I've got double wool socks. I could use an extra thermal underwear, I guess. It's not a big deal. Oh, look at that. Mac and all. Uh, I need to repair it, though. Basically, just play that clip from The Matrix where they're talking about like the the thing they're the stuff they're eating all the amino like the vitamins amino acids minerals everything the body needs that's toilet water Good enough now. 
22. Oh, I should have dropped the sapling as soon as we walked in the door. Oops. I may do some reading. I think we'll just stay here the day before we move on. I wanna, I've picked up a ton of skill books. I want to work through one or two. And we might do, be able to do some cooking if there's some oil right up here. Beaches. There's a cooking pot. There's the oil. All right, recipes. This is all I'm going to need. Maybe not everything. Uh, with oats, I could make oats. Everything else, for the most part, needs the broth, though. Oh, those are the only recipes I have. The recipe here, I think it's in Thompson's Crossing, maybe? I don't have acorn grounds. We could make this. The Bannock. But I do have maple syrup, so we can make pancakes. Could make peach pie. Not a lot of calories. But at least it would do something with the... It takes one pound. That doesn't seem right. The calories? got to be more calories than that. Make a rose hip pie. Uh, we could go snag that meat off the venison and make a venison pie. That might be worth it. And maybe it's because I'm level one cooking, or maybe it's just not showing the accurate amount of calories. Seems like a very low amount of calories. Let me open that. There's the can of Finally. One percent. Okay, what about the... Yeah, that was the frying pan stuff. Okay. Drop the other cans, but we'll have more cans in a minute because now I have a can opener. Start to fire. Oh, I bet I'm carrying around. More charcoal than I really need. I just meant to have like two or three on me. I think I have like ten. Actually, wait, hang on. Uh, drop the higher percent flour and just make sure we use up one salt at a time. So they, it might pull like equally from each or something. Cook. Okay, what do we got? We got to do bannock, pancakes. <clears throat> no peach pancake. Oh, is that a recipe I don't have? Acorn pancake, peach pie. Cooking skill insufficient. What? What do you mean? Oh, that number. That's the level three I need. Oh. Oh. I th when uh, when this uh, stuff was introduced, I only had established characters to to fiddle with it. I didn't even realize. I can't even make that crap. Okay, well, I guess pancakes is. Where's that pancakes? Pancakes. 12 minutes. Cook. <laughs> awesome. 
Little cute pancakes. I I don't ever make pancakes like that. I just make a big one that takes up the whole pan. Who makes tiny little pancakes like that? Ridiculous. Okay, I definitely want to repair that. One hour. I weigh 104. That's two minutes. They cook pretty quick. I think what I might do... Let's put this on the ground for a minute. I want to go get the meat. Pancakes. Nice. Ooh. Mmm. Yum. Okay, well... Come back for these. Let's just go grab the... Meat. Got two hours left. I have a hacksaw. Shouldn't take that long. Oh, I didn't, uh, I haven't searched the bridge yet. Nice. Nice, Whatever, good enough. Because I can check the car too. Let's check the car. Watch out for the our neighbor. Way up to the old dam. Seems open again. Better check it out. That's got 13 minutes. I have some meat now. Uh, I can't do any of this stuff because I have no broth. But I can maybe do a venison pie. Cooking skill, son of a bitch. Level 3, huh? I'm not gonna get there in time to eat that. So we just have to slap it down on the Barbie. Hold up. If these can hold off until it's time to sleep, I will eat them. Sam, I am. 48 minutes, 44 minutes, 40. Okay, that's a good time to read a little bit in my book. Let's beef this thing up a little bit.
use. You know what? I'm gonna go and eat them. These guys will be breakfast. Uh, there's nothing interesting I can really do with this. Until I get some broth, so I'll just make a bunch of water with that. <clears throat> and then, more pancakes! Down a hatch! Mmm. Those are some tangy peaches. Dang. Yum. Damn, those are good. Pancakes are done. Alright, I need to eat, uh... Let me just double check. Yeah, I need... The pills. Worth. Don't need this. Maybe I should make... Banox? Should I just make more pancakes? How much calories did it actually end up being? 550. Yeah, the display is wrong. Right? That says 5... Because it's elegant, I guess there's a modifier based on skill level or something. Those are normal pancakes. It says... Oh, it does say 550. Huh. Did it say that before? Uses my syrup and flour. I, mean, I think they probably spoil super fast. I think I'll keep making these. More pancakes, please. Very good. Alright, um, so we are going to leave Potito and Kakarato here. Because eventually you get like a cool stew that's way better than just eating these things on their own. But I don't want to carry them around either. We'll take the salt, but we'll leave probably one salt, one flour here. I got an extra syrup when I came here. I wonder if the dog food is safe. I guess I'm going to carry a pan and a pot, so I'll just leave all these cans. Take the tools. You know what? I'm not sure if they should be outdoors. This thing is already down to 74%. What the heck? Oh, oh, this one's never mind. I guess it's based on the ingredients. I'm gonna put one outside. I'm going to leave this one here. They're about the same. We'll put one outside, see which one is better. If it was meat, it should go outside. If it's canned goods, it should go inside. I'm not sure which it is with this. There you go. Don't eat that, crows. Oh, 
kind of easy cooking experience. I guess it's not bad. Requires an... Darn it. <laughs> kind of low on cooking supplies, aren't I? I mean, like, firewood. An actual pancake burns like 20 seconds. True. But your canned goods don't spoil in a few weeks either. Uh, well, great, cool. I've only got 10 sticks and 2 coal, so, and that's non-potable water, but I have a bunch of water, so. I just picked these up, dump this in the corner. Hopefully I don't drink it one day by accident. It's really hard to tell it's unsafe. It just says it in parentheses. It's not... doesn't look icky or anything. Alright, well, I have to sleep 10 hours. Have an extra pancakes, huh? Mmm. Yum yum. I guess I didn't use any salt. It's, it's still a decent amount. 2.2 .2 pounds. How heavy are these things? Oh, 3.3. .3. I used one third. One oh seven. What's so heavy? The water. Yeah, it's better. Herbal tea. See if it'll let me read with food poisoning. I already did the medicine, so I just have to sleep for 10 hours. Did I finish that book? I guess I did, huh? Okay, I guess we'll do fire starting next. Bink! Yeah, alright. Oh, I'm tired as well. Alright. Fine. I just won't be... It, we're gonna wake up, it's gonna be dark, I won't be able to read. Oh well. At least I got to eat all those peaches before they hit zero. And I got dysentery or whatever from them. I'm actually not sure what they would give at zero percent. Or maybe it just wouldn't let me eat them at all. Healed. Nice. Not really hungry, so I'll just drink some water. Oh wait, I can eat the rest of this. Still dark. Um, can't repair this then, right? Boink. Okay, well I don't have anything to sharpen. I don't have no I have no scrap metal, so I can't repair my hacksaw. Can't read. Bink.
guess I could sleep a few hours, and then it would be daytime, then I can read. Reading is for nerds. Yeah, but I'm learning cool stuff, like how to start fires. It's too dark. Suddenly it's not. I just finished the book. Get that level up. You're son of a... It's fine. Alright. Swing. Fire starting two. Okay, so pancake one is all the way down to 42%. You basically have to eat those things immediately, which I guess makes sense. They're not very stable. Shelf stable. And this one's at 60. Okay, so. There you go, kids. Professor says, store your pancakes out in the snow. Survey says 67%. All right, so I'll eat one of the meats. We're going to walk to Signal Hill. Probably don't need all that leather. Leave a little bit here. Make some notes. Okay, we're at the Pleasant Valley farmhouse. We're gonna leave behind some water, some flour, some salt, some leather. Potato. Kakarato. Guess that's about it. <clears throat> Cans, but who cares? I weigh one hundo. Probably could leave a few torches behind. And I finished that book, so I'll leave a few of these books. This one. Down to 96, that's good. Alright, let's get out of here. Scrams. Scrams veal. Middle of the day. Day nine. Take one bottle. Well, let me drink first, then I'll look at the bottle situation.
Every time I climb up here, it feels like a waste of time. Oh, I think last time I actually found something, so... Even just, like, a can of food would be actually pretty good. My clothing is fine. don't really need clothing. Any kind of little bit of food, though, would, would help. We're not going to have a million cattails like if we went to Forlorn Muskig. Nothing. Matches. Oh, okay. Turns out worth it. I do have crampons. I think we'll go uh, the, technically the faster way, past the bear cave. It's usually almost guaranteed you're going to sprain your ankle, but maybe it'll be okay with crampons. Usually don't have crampons at this point. Once I get up there, there's going to be some firewood. I don't think I need any sticks. I would pick up coal. Uh, we're not going to need water either. Okay, so let's just try to travel as light as possible. Resist the temptation to pick up sticks. See a bear. Let's go. Grab the mushrooms. I don't see any bones, so you might not be here. You know, I never... I'm not going to climb it. I was just thinking, like, I never climbed that. I'm still not going to climb it. Maybe if I was... I do, I do have crampons, which makes it better. If I was full stamina, I might do it. Might avoid the sprain, too. Oh, there's a sprain. Never mind. I was trying to walk over here to where it's not quite as steep. So much for that. May as well sprint, right?
Numbers are really nice. <clears throat> Try to finish up here as soon as possible. Let's see what we're missing. Open up. It's the police. Uh, one car battery. I need two wires. Okay, so I need one wire. One wire, two fuse. And some scrap metal. Metal parts. Five scrap metal. Some of that gonna be inside here I did leave a car battery at the there's the wire we need Q I left a car battery down by the farmhouse but there's probably a closer car we can pull it from Dog food. More wires. There's more wires in here than the thing even needs. There's a fuse. This one was always kind of just a gimme. Oh, I, I, oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I don't have like a filter on, I don't think. So like you've filtered yourself, but I didn't, I didn't get, you were literally just muting out what I said because of the, I get it. Because of the game listening to my microphone. Yeah. Oh man, this weather sucks. I hate it. You know, like that. Ah, darn. Ah. Ah, it's sunny. Ah, darn. I hate that. Grr. Come at boots. Let's look with the lantern. Very unlikely I use those. Another wire. I guess uh, there's other things you can do with the wire, I guess. Another hammer. Goo. You can um, you can make the fishing lures or whatever. But I guess there's not... It's not just for the beacon things. Oh, there's a battery. Okay. And another fuse. Is that everything but the scrap, I think? I'm more concerned with making arrowheads, even if I... I don't even have any scrap yet, but I have a hacksaw, so... Not too worried about it. So we can get... Oof. Okay, let's let's drop that. Is 
Did the weather suddenly get worse? Yeah, everything except for the scrap metal just sitting there. Didn't even need the battery. I think maybe maybe when they do the final all the different additions are in the game and like the third tail and the the loot balance and I wonder if they'll change this a little bit now that there's also the sled. Fix the battery. Uh, so we just need the metal, which I don't have. Alright. I wonder if they'll make that not so easy to just find sitting right outside the... right next to where it needs to be. They're not all this easy, but most of them are pretty straightforward. So, just need the scrap. Done. All right. Okay, so from here, I want to go to Thompson's. Wouldn't all, I might? I wouldn't all, I would also not mind doing some reading, getting through a few of these skill books. I have some food. Oh yeah, the combat boots. Too heavy. I want to repair this. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Sixty-four percent. Ninety-nine. So that'll replace this, no problem. Yeah, it didn't. The display didn't update. I'm like, wait a second, that's not right. Four point four. That's a big upgrade. Yeah, it's a big upgrade. Can drop this one. Do I have enough water? Yeah, we're fine. Good, that'll be nice and lightweight tomorrow. Probably good. Next time we make a fire, I'll make more pancakes. I guess the pancake stuff's not really going to spoil super fast. It's syrup, flour, oil. That's it. Pretty easy. Mm -hmm. I guess I could repair those. These take... One hour as well. It's too late. Let's see if I can get away with reading a chapter before it gets dark. Did I start a new book? Ten hours, no good. I'm not healthy enough. Oh. Guess my wrist is. Hurts a little bit. There we go. I don't think I'll do another one. Maybe I can uh, break a chair or something. It's a metal chair. I don't have any scrap yet. That would give me six scrap. But it needs to be daylight. It'll cut me off. There's no wood. Wood. Wood for tools.
extra heavy hammer. Um, I will leave that here. I'm gonna leave it somewhere. So probably best to just drop it as soon as possible. I'm not gonna take it all the way. I might take it as far as like. If I took it all the way to Coastal Highway, that would be a lot of backtracking to go get it. It's probably better just leave it here. I, should, I probably should have left it at the farmhouse, actually. But now it's closer to the cave. I have to come back to grab it if I want to take it to the to the Forlorn Muskeg Forge. Uh, all right. Hammer. Yeah, five scrap needed. For uh, tower thingy. Tired. Unfortunately, I'm not hungry. So I can't eat that low percent food. Maybe tomorrow. This one, this one, this one. Not hungry enough, anyway. Eight days, 18 hours, 30 minutes. Okay, drop some weight from that. And I'll drop can. It's not it's not bright yet. Sleep another hour. We'll just finish it, right? Then I'll use it for the next fire. Get out. So the only thing I dropped I want to pick up, I think, is the saplings. Maples at 40%. Uh, birch is at 60. That's good. I just need to get some guts curing. I don't think the guts will be ready in time. It's gonna take five days. The dark in this game is too long. Uh, all right. Well, back inside. Drop those saplings. Wrong tab. Okay. Let me chat. Oh, I should have done this at night. Whoops. Misplay. Could have done this in the dark. I think it just got better. Got an extra 1% of my saplings. Pretty good. Did I take the firewood? I got the firewood. And I dropped any like extra wires or cables, that kind of crap. Yep. yep. Alright, let's get out of here. There might be a maple sapling over here. Try to pick it up. Although, is that a good idea? I have three already. 
By the time I use up three bows, I will have found new saplings and let them cure. It's probably just extra weight gonna slow me down. Yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna pick up more maple. I've got six birch. I might pick up a few birch, but only one or two. Right there. Maple sapling. It's not going anywhere, though. I think I hear the bear right over there. Heard some grunting. We're gonna go to Thompson's and then Coastal Highway. I do want to check this cave and the corpse and the hunting blind. And then I guess we'll probably walk up to the walk, well, walk down to the road, cross the bridge, try not to get mauled by a bear, a different bear. going far out of my way because of the wolf. There's another cave. Uh, either right down here or back there. I think it's back there, but it typically has nothing in it. There's, I, I do see a corpse right down there. I guess I'll go check it out. Good cow. Good cow. This cave. Maybe, maybe this cave in both locations. I don't know. I don't usually come over here. There's not much. Not many animals. It's not like resources, really. What do you got? Firewood? Alright, I'll take it. Yep, that's it. Two pieces of firewood. Whoop de doo. Rabbits, I guess. Ptarmigans, maybe? I think I hear ptarmigans. Although everything sounds like ptarmigans now. Do we have any information on the next map? I don't think so. They did say the story thing would be this year. Part 5. Probably towards the end of this year would be the final... The final chapter. But as for the next DLC thing, I don't think there's been any information since the Zone of Contamination update. I would guess, just based on the way they structured it previously, that there will be a non-map update, and then the map update, and then a final update. Probably something like that. Because they still have to do... There's still like some mechanic stuff they said they would do. Uh, there's the final tale, which might be last. I don't know. I don't know if they'll release the zone and the tale at the same time. Who knows? Plus the mountain lion. Hilltop cave. There used to be guaranteed crackers here, but not anymore. Sad. Oh yeah, the trader. Yep. Uh, the trader, the mountain pass, the mountain lion, 
the final tail, whatever, I think that should at least start in the final zone. Um, the, uh, the, the animal rebalance thing where they follow you and, uh, like their spawn points and stuff is more random. Oh yeah, and the base, that's right, the base customization. I think that, that maybe that's it. But uh, they might, they're probably also adding like more recipes, more clothing types. Another flask, and it's got a different color. Wow. I can put two different stacks of teas that I'm not going to drink in two different... Flasky things. That's super cool. Didn't I say I wasn't going to pick up more maple saplings? I just picked up three. I guess I can leave them somewhere. Maybe I'll leave them somewhere. Like at Thompson's or something. out for the bear here. It's easy to get jumped right around these corners. I almost, I almost uh, spoke aloud. Something that might get me in trouble. I was like, wow, it's really... Wait, don't say it. It's awfully something right now. In this valley. It's awfully something. I seen the starship reentry. I haven't. <clears throat> From the the most recent flight, I did not. Every time I like click on somebody like streaming the the blast off or whatever, it's like countdown five hours and five hours remaining for the countdown. I was like, uh, oh, whatever. I never look it up later. Once or twice I've caught them as they're, like, right about to launch, and I watched them. Yeah, a lot of the times they get scrubbed anyway, so it just seems like just forever waiting. Scott? Who's this Scott you speak of? Great Scott. Like Doc Brown. Okay, there's another maple sapling. I'm not going to take it. See if we, uh, I guess if we find where the moose is, I should uh, make a note. That he's here. If he's here. I don't have to guess later. Is there a container? There is. It's empty.
Magnifying lens. Okay, that's pretty good. 35%, not great, but just trying to avoid getting mauled. What I just what did I just pick up there? Magnified lens book. I've already forgotten. Brain just skipped right over it. Oh, a took. Full of a took. I guess I should be wearing this one on the outside. Still no bedroll. Don't really need one though. So maybe it's better not to have one actually, because if I found one, I would feel obliged to carry it with me. And it would just be extra weight. So actually it's probably better that I have not found one. Now that I think about it. Wolves! Alright, I guess we're not going to that cave. So much for that. Guess we can go up to the other cave, which used to be long ago a uh, bedroll spawn, which I don't want. So it's probably gonna give it to me now. I need to eat some food. I have some delicious dog food. Yeah, that was that hit the spot. Hmm. Yum. Ptarmigans. I 
think I'll wait till I have a bow and arrow to really worry about the termigans. It'd be nice to make broth. But I won't really be able to take full advantage of it anyway. So we uh, can also pair it with some meat. Meat. Do you want to make... Alright, we picked up some wood. I have enough sticks. I want to make some pancakes and stuff. And some water. But there's a six burner stove. So I won't need that much time to make the stuff I need to make. More maple saplings. You know, uh, maybe I'll just leave these. I'll go ahead and harvest them because it's a little bit out of the way up here. And I'll leave them at Thompson's. Instead of way up here. Although, there's a deer carcass. I really would like that meat. If there's a bedroll, we'll just sleep here. I think. Although, is my clothing good enough yet? It might be. Maybe it is. Do need to get a few guts curing too. Cave. bedroll. It is warm. I think maybe I'll just light a fire as I walk down the hill, actually. Like a torch. Because of the temperature. How long is that going to take? Two hours. Let's go. my coffee somewhere there it is oops all right i'm not picking up the saplings anymore because it's too heavy can't do it oh it's gonna be windy huh Shoots. Suboptimal.
Yeah. Thank you for your sacrifice, Mr. Rabbit. You will be forgotten. got eaten. I think uh, maybe a Ptarmigan got murdered just there. I didn't hear anything squeal, but it, there's a wolf eating something off to the left as well. Come on. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. Those are the wolves behind me. There's usually one right on the other side of the bridge, which I don't know if I'm stinky enough. Might be able to pull them. And a bear usually walks right across there, too. So As long as he's not super nearby, that should be all right. Thompson's Crossing. Tom Thompson's, not Thompson's. No, no P. The P is silent. Didn't even get cold. Damn. Pretty good. Oh, very dark. All right. Okay, so let's put the saplings I want to leave here. I'm going to put them over here, which would be those three. Probably, I might leave some other stuff here, too. Oops.
Oh my gosh. Open the thing. Uh, I could probably do this with a torch. I don't have a ton of fuel. Once I start a fire. Yeah, let's do it with a torch. empty, but I, I don't want this to all the way empty. I want to save it for fishing, so I may probably drop it in Coastal Highway. Just leave it there. Drop the meat. We can make some uh, pancakes, I guess. Cook the meat. Clothing's doing alright. Sweaters could use some attention, but it's not an immediate concern. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I do have a book. This one, Wilderness Kitchen. Although we don't need to do it in here, but uh, I don't want to use accelerant, so I guess we use a torch. Use the torch, please. I guess I don't have enough left. To use an accelerant anyway. 70, wait, 75%. Uh, I did not use the book. But we're inside, so it's alright. Not in a rush. Success. I don't have any water, so let's make water. I need water for the pancakes too. Alright, so just make water at first. around. Whoa. Should be a recipe in here somewhere, right? I have to double check the kitchen. I guess that's where it'd be. There's another one of these doors right behind this table, but you gotta break the table to get to it, so it's not really worth it. Unless you want that wood, uh, <clears throat> unless you want the wood anyway, and you're already gonna break the table, it's not really worth it. But there is a little, little container cubby hole thing there. Queen. Right here. Maybe you can, I don't think you can, Maybe I can reach it like this. No. I don't think so. Oh, 
a fuse. Wow. Beaches. When we hit level three cooking, we can make peach, uh, peach bannock or peach pie, whatever. Disinfectant. Actually, probably want to turn that into a stick. Got 15 minutes. Okie doke. I think that's everything. Eight minutes, still boil dry. Okay, give me that. May as well make more. That's almost done. Mm, those are nice. Eighty percent. Pancakes, I guess. Cook. Bannock. No. Pancake. Not that far off. I don't think I have another book for cooking. I got the harvesting ones, which take 10 hours. It's kind of... Usually not that worth it anyway, because you harvest so much. Just have the fire one and a sewing one. Delicious. Thank you, sir. I have another.
Nice. Okay, we gotta make some pancakes for breakfast, obviously. Gonna make them ahead of time. Storm in the snow. I'm all the way down to 93 pounds. That's actually pretty good, although I did drop a bunch of stuff over there. Saplings and hides and stuff. How much water did I make? Yeah, I'm carrying some water too that will drop. Cook. Chip, 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 chip. Reminds me of that little chef cat in uh, Monster Hunter. Potable water. Wait, did I just hit level 3 cooking? Oh my gosh, that was fast. Level... Day 10, level 3 cooking. Nice. Oh, I guess if you really want to go for it, it's not too hard to do that. But, now... Peach pie! Oh, I used all my flour, son of a... Biscuit. Buttermilk biscuit. <laughs> Pancakes it is. Till we find more flour. Darn it. Um Okay. Pick up the pot, leave the can, I guess. Pancakes in the snow. Almost out of oil, too. Really blew through that oil. Damn. Can I make another? I think we're out. Ran out of supplies. Damn. Feels bad. Okay, well. Make a few torches. Silly, but it's probably for the best because they spoil really fast. Uh, canned goods you want inside. You don't want to leave those outside. I guess that's all I have to leave out here then. Soda, I'm not sure, but soda, you never get food poisoning from soda, so it doesn't matter. Plus we have... I guess, yeah, I don't have cooking five. I guess I'll leave the meat. I forgot about the meat. I'll leave that out there. I gorged so hard on pancakes. Don't have room for the meat. Sure. Why not? Alright, so, it's still dark. Um, I picked up 39 feathers. Wow. How did that happen? One by one by two by two. Currently weigh like 100. I gotta pick up saplings and some hides. Uh, I, we're gonna drop, let me, let's go ahead and deposit some water. Okay, that's, that's alright. Yeah, that makes a big difference. This is all looking okay. We're gonna find a bunch of coal. I do have a lot of skill books. Try to work my way through them. 
These are all five hour ones. Mm, this is all useful stuff and it doesn't weigh much. Clothing is stuff I'm wearing. I'm wearing all that. Carrying some food, but not a not a crazy amount. Mm, heavy hammer, gonna need it. Tools, gonna want that. There goes the torch. Yeah, all right. It'll have to do. Harvest. I thought I stopped like on top of the bed, but did I not? I guess it did not. Hello, bed. There's one over here. Yes, no, hello. Really don't want to waste fuel on looking for a silly bed on the ground. Hey! Show yourself! Alright, I'm gonna back up so at least I can line myself up better. There we go. Uh-huh. There. Okay. Although, I did not stop to check, uh, I didn't think to check what they started at. So I'm not sure how much they dropped. Let's also... No, I'm kind of full now. Too full for this soda. Let's read some books. Oh, the 10 hour one? No thanks. Uh, actually. Oh, fine, whatever. Good. Hmm. Let's see, do I want to keep that for starting fires? I have an accelerant. So I'm going to say no. I got two. Oh, yeah, that's too much. Alright, pick all this crap up. The guts, as they cure, they get less stinky. I have one stink bar. 17% cured. Guess that'll have to work. Uh, three maples is a pretty good to start. Drink some water. Oh, actually, let's drink that soda now. That'll drop weight. Sodas are heavy. We gotta go across the street as well. There's all these houses here. Should I loot all these houses before moving on? Mm. No, not gonna. If I had thought about it before, I might, but not gonna now. Too late. It's too late. We'll do the gas station convenience store thing across the street, and that's it. Why not loot? I just don't... Yeah, I just don't want to spend the time. We might find some food to make up the time, but if I get stuck here on an entire extra night, it's a lot of extra food I have to eat. And the, the kind of stuff I'm likely to find is like... Newspapers, books. Not super useful. When is new story? 
They said uh, probably towards the end of this year it will be the final the final chapter. That's what I would guess. They said this year, and just with the way video game sales and like entertainment in general is sales just do better in the fall and winter before Christmas. So likely then I would guess, but not sure. They just said they said this year. And I'm sort of adding... Oh, some oats. Okay, that's extra calories. Potato. What was I using the spray paint for? It was to mark my megafauna kills, I think. I started using spray paint more. So I knew where the meat was, or something like that? Final is for sure? Well, I'm not the developer, so... How would I know? Ask the developer. Potato. Oh, potato. I left a carrot across the street. Oh, I got one carrot. There is a... Uh, oh, but I didn't pick up a recipe either. Shouldn't there be a recipe? Wait a second. Go back. Shouldn't there be a recipe somewhere? I also... I didn't go to the barn. Maybe the, the recipe's not in the barn, is it? That'd be weird. I meant to look in Thompson's. I totally forgot. So I was looking around with a torch at night. Let's go back. Let's check. I'll leave the potatoes there. I don't need all these potatoes right now. I prefer to... It is a source of calories, but I prefer to save them for the, the super stews that make better use of them. take the oats though because I can make use of those right away and they're not they don't like get much better I don't I don't there might there might be a recipe that uses fruit or something to go with the oats Thompson's crossing I left two carrots five potato it's e if it's plural um Three maple. Forgot to mark that. You got a recipe? Where's the recipe? No? No recipe? Hmm. I didn't see one in the farmhouse. Maybe it's... It wouldn't be, uh... What's it called? The um the grumpy guy. No, not grumpy. Uh, Spence's or Ske Skeeter Skeeter's Ridge. Skeeter's Ridge is it there? Not sure. I don't know where they are. I just pick them up when I find them. But I didn't see one, so oh well. Let's go. Probably, I guess I gotta drop the maple, maple, uh, marine flare. There's the bear. Fabulous. Okay, hurry up. Am I stinky? Slightly stinky. Not good. 
Oh, he turned around. Fabulous. He's afraid of me. He's scared. There's usually a wolf right here. I don't see him. The house is burnt down. Cool. I don't have to search it. Bonus. Turned around. No bedroll. Yeah, I, c I guess I can't sleep in this cave, can I? The transition cave. I don't think there's a... Is there a bed in there? I don't think so. So I guess we'll have to go to the lookout tower thing. I guess I'm not going to check that cave. Uh, he's going to murder a rabbit, but it, I'd have to go too close to him. So, what does it go straight for the, for the transition cave? Pick up a million coal. Stumble our way to the lookout tower. Be done with this godforsaken hellscape. Probably eat some food, make myself less stinky. That's not food. This is food. It's already at 66%, but I'll eat all this within the next day, so it probably doesn't matter. Lighten the load, be less stinky. I still have the guts. Which is most of the stink, anyway. Kind of need them cured, though. If I don't carry them with me, stinky, and, like, cure them as I go, I'm going to have to backtrack all the way to Coastal Highway to make the bow instead of making it immediately in Desolation Point after forging. It would be better to make it there so I can immediately have a source of food. Everything else should be cured by then. Badoo! Bing bong! Giddy up. Let's go. Where's my battle steed?
Maybe maybe with the mountain lion, when they have the mountain lion, there's got to be a new clothing item, right? Everybody's speculating. Is it going to be a hat? Is it going to be gloves? Maybe some fancy belt or something? What if it's a saddle to ride bears? You got you to gotta go to the far territory, the mountain pass, stalk the mountain lion or be stalked, murder it, cure its hide, which will take probably like 700 days or something. Then you get to make a saddle. Ride the ride the bear around. That'd be awesome. That's why they've been waiting for the bear spear, because you're not allowed to use it unless you're riding a bear. Ah, it all makes sense. Mining road. Mining road this way? What do you mean mining road this way? This is the mining road. You're on it. Right now. Ba -dum, bing bong. Okay, so probably best idea, because I'm kind of heavy. Walk straight to the end of the cave, drop stuff, especially the stuff that needs to cure, then backtrack and pick up coal and leave some of the coal in the cave because I won't be able to carry it all. It's going to be too much. That'll, that'll probably be faster than walking through once at like 0 0.01 kilometers an hour. Um, should be good for water. So, do I have some sticks? Yeah, I could easily make a little water if I need to. I don't tempting. Hmm, I could pick up that stick. I could pick up that other stick. That's just prime. Mantillas, thanks for the sub. Thank you. Okay. Guess I'll use lantern. It's full. And resist the urge to pick up all the coal. For now. I don't think there's a bed in here. If there's a bed, I can just sleep. And then pick it up. I don't think so. Sometimes there's tools here, but usually a stem. Moose kicks. No stem. Hmm. Weird. Uh, oh, I guess there's there's an alternate location for it. On the shelf, up in the little cage, little spot. I guess I'll wait to open this stuff too. 
extra tools. Uh, I can drop the pry bar if I open the lockers now, though. The one, the one that's locked, anyway. Go this that's a dead end. That's a dead end, friend. Yeah, this little spot can have the stem on the shelf. No bed roll. Yeah, no bed. So we're gonna have to do all this. I guess I can drink more coffee. It's probably a waste. I'd have to drink several just to have a for it to matter. Other side. Used to be able to make fires here. That was nice. And that's all the curable stuff. Then we can drop hammer, the fuel, these flares, the tools. Need the lantern, obviously. Thermos, books, pots. Still warm. crap. I'm not gonna drop the sticks because it's annoying to pick up. All the way down to 49. Okay. Um, maybe a sweater. Axel. That'll do. Alright, now we zoom zoom.
is where the the sweater guy is. It would technically be best to wait to get to the other end and pick up stuff on the way back, but for the initial... First time you go through here, there's usually some coal like waiting to spawn. There's just not room because it's all the, the slots or whatever full. So if you pick up some, you'll notice, or you, it's, it can happen that you'll see uh, coal that wasn't there when you go back through. It's not guaranteed, I guess. Loop. Nothing. Eight hours, how that happened? This was supposed to be a non eight hour stream. I didn't actually exactly say that, but that was the plan. The plan was not eight hours. Yeah, reaching Coast Highway, that's kind of the goal. Get out of this zone. It'd be a good place to start, too, starting from that tower with the nice scenic view. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to do the character creation for Dragon's Dogma 2, which is available before the game launches. The game launches Thursday, we'll stream it then. But um, probably, even, it, even if like I really... I'm silly with the with the creator. I, I don't think I would spend more than three hours, maybe. So we might play this after that. Maybe. Or I might, or I might just have a short stream. Maybe. We'll see. Not sure. I haven't decided. Empty. Did I not find a stimulant? I did not find a stimulant. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Right? Yeah. I just have the one from... wherever I got that. Timberwolf Mountain? The summit. Yeah, the summit. No. Did I find one at the summit? Damn, I can't even remember. Oh, that's right, I have to design pawns. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's going to be a minimum a six-hour character creation stream. I totally forgot about that. I 
And you can have multiple now. I, I seem to remember only designing one previously, but I don't know if you could just only have one pawn in the first one, because I didn't play it that much. Or you can only design one, and then you have to recruit others, something like that, whatever. Okay, so I got uh, 53. Wow. Hundred and twenty-eight. <laughs> okay. Well, gonna have to leave a few things. That's too much stuff. Coastal caps lock. Coastal valley. Uh, cinder hills. Uh, cinder hills. Coal mine. Dot hyphen space. 20 coal. You know, we're going to get even more coal. I should leave 30 coal here. This is so heavy. I'm still leaving here with 25, and there's two other caves to go. Okay, so I think the door's right. In, if I just walk forward. Don't have a bed. Am I hungry? A little bit. All right, let's eat some pancakes. Get rid of those. I was going to go... Coastal Valley. Yes. Coastal Highway. Listen, it's been eight hours. Listen here. Hundred and twenty. Okay, so the books I've read, those can be dropped. I'm not going to read more than one of these, so I'll drop the other one. Is it just, it's 10 hours, and harvesting is like the easiest skill to level. So, not really required. That brings me down to 116. We can drop sticks. Good. Down to 111. I gotta walk downhill. I th I'm thinking, actually, instead of, because there's a blizzard right now, instead of going to the lookout, we might go to the right and try to run into a trailer. If not, we'll hit the ice and we can go to the fishing camp, and I'll leave a whole bunch of stuff there anyway. I'm not hungry. We can drink water. Oh, never mind. Not thirsty. Uh, no. The other stuff, like I'm wearing it, or it's stuff I want to carry to craft with or to, to forge or whatever. Hello, where's the door? That's... Okay. Door? Door. I got like five seconds before before I have to decide which direction to go. I 
It's not that much farther to go to the tower. I think we'll just go to the tower. I won't have to worry about... One of my concerns is that I'm stinky, but it's a blizzard, so no wolves. I'm full health. So, we're, we'll take some damage because I'm not moving terribly fast, but it should be alright. Have you ever heard of Kenshi? I have. I never got into it. I never played it. It was sort of like on my wish list to dive into, but I never did because... I knew it would like be a sort of a big time commitment to learn it, and I would, I sort of guessed I would get extremely addicted to it. I thought there was a like a Kenshi two in development, right? Is that still a thing? Just have to pay attention that I don't walk past the little opening that leads to the tower. Small team, yeah. It seemed like one of those games that has a lot of jank to it, but also a lot of potential for just emergent craziness. Morrowind. It does have that like blasted landscape kind of feel, right? Everybody hates you. What do you want, Outlander? I'm almost there. I think it's right here. Right past this bit of logs. This mountainy bit of mountain right there. Here it is. This is it. Yeah, come on. We just have to get past this point. Then I can sleep, I'll have more energy, wake up, carry more, better, and I'll be walking downhill, and we can leave stuff at the garage. And I won't have to be so encumbered. have to get this past this uh, this little bit of extreme slowness should be warm enough I think Yeah, 
yeah, coastal highway lookout tower, yep. Or abandoned, abandoned lookout, I guess is the technical term, or the the actual title. Ooh, okay, kindly shut up, wind. Thank you. hat. Wow. Alright, first things first. Get all that stuff down. Can't really see, but I'm gonna sleep till it's daylight. It's a hacksaw. Something back there. There's a bed back there. Oh, okay. Uh, so nothing to chop. Nothing to sharpen. Probably should have left these marine flares behind. I think I will. Once we're down uh, at the the garage, I'll ditch one of the flasks. I wonder if they're different at all. Or it's just the, the different paint job or whatever. Ditch one of these. That'll be an extra kilo I'm I'm not carrying. I have enough water to get through the night. I'm carrying a good amount of canned food too. Uh, not hungry enough to eat it though. Maybe tomorrow. We can do the food poisoning gimmick. Finish my pancakes. Delicious. You survive. 10 days, 22 hours, 45 minutes. Just to mark the occasion. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it shows nothing because I don't have the I don't have the Polaroid, so my picture's not as good. Where are those crows? They're traveling. Okay, so there you go. First 12 days. Explored 17% of the world already. Wow. Uh, I think uh, I'm just going to snooze a little bit again to save the game, and then we'll end the stream there. So I'm not going to pick this stuff up yet. Do I have a soda or anything like that? No. I'm going to save the peaches for the peach pie. Otherwise I would eat those, and the other stuff's low percent. And I need boiling water for the oats. So, just drink water. Eight hour stream, been a long time. Yeah, about eight hours. That's how long. I mean, a long time since the last eight hour stream. The last eight hour stream was not too long ago, actually. I think it was the puzzle game, did eight hours. But that'll do it. Uh, Wednesday, we'll, we'll fiddle with the Dragon's Dogma character creator, and then Thursday, when it comes out, we'll have an unscheduled, uh, well, it's scheduled now, a bonus stream on Thursday. That's it. But that's it for today. Goodbye. Good night.